Hello, hello, hello. I hope this is working. I'm going to give it a minute and let you guys come on in. Thank you. Well, I think that is the perfect intro for me to say, hi, I'm Maggie. Welcome to my struggle cooking class. I'm so glad that you all are here. I am not a proper chef. I am just a boy mom times two. I have two teenagers. Thankfully, they're away this week with their dad and one's on a mission trip. Um, but I have been on a health and wellness journey. I have struggled with weight my entire life. But uh, finally, I have found what works for me, working with a metabolic specialist in her office. I've been tested for food sensitivities, which was a cheek swab and some hair samples. So I have a list of foods that I can have on the fridge, and I have a list of foods that I have to avoid. So all of my recipes here I eat are sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. However, you can always substitute your own full flavor ingredients if you don't have to worry about health challenges. I used to be pre-diabetic, I used to have elevated cholesterol, and I used to have borderline blood pressure, and all of that is normal now with no medication because I've completely changed the way that I eat and the way that I snack. I am maintaining an 80 plus pound weight loss with at least 20, who knows, maybe 40 more to go. I don't know, um, but this is just how I eat now. I feel amazing and the weight is kind of coming off as a byproduct. So whether you love to eat, you are most welcome here. Whether you love to cook, you are most welcome here. Or you just want to watch me do it. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only four months old, so bear with me. I'm trying out some new stuff. I hope you guys appreciate the technology. Um, but I will say a disclaimer if I get kicked out of my own stream or anything crazy happens, I know the chat will uh, let me know. But I'm so glad that you all are here. We're going to be cooking tonight. I have two recipes that I'm going to make. I'm going to start with dessert first. I'm going to make a strawberry shortcake, another mug cake. And then I'm going to make um, Maggie cakes. I can't decide on what flavor. Maybe strawberry, maybe blueberry. I got some blueberry vanilla goat's cheese I want to use. Um, let's see, what else? I am a proud student of the lead attorney's course. Just completed it. Please go support the lead attorney. This is where I learned <laughs> how to uh, struggle stream and struggle cook, I guess. But uh, I am your teacher. You all are my scholars. Uh, the live chat is our study hall. Thank you, moderators, my classroom monitors, for keeping uh, the chat happy, wholesome, and family friendly. Um, lead attorney is our professor. You all were here yesterday for an amazing collaboration with AV, a new YouTuber. Thank you all for supporting her. Um, I thought it was epic. I had so much fun and I really appreciate my scholars really coming through and supporting one of our own. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to take attendance and then I'm going to turn down the air because I'm old. I'm 46, but you all are helping me to age gracefully. Um, and uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to try and keep these to about two hours and incorporate the feedback that you all gave me. I'm going to apologize in advance for my voice. I know I sound a little bit raspy, a little nasally, but um, I was in Salt Lake City for a conference, you know, in the desert, high elevation, air is really thin. Um, the Airbnb that I had had a window unit and it was just blowing on me. So I feel fine. I just sound a little off. All right, so let's see who's present in class. Ah, Aaron, Laura, thank you so much for being here. Welcome to class. Aaron says it was epic. I expect another troll, Wilbur. You know, the technical difficulties, the struggle cooking, 
Um, I have the friendly trolls, so I don't mind them too much. They keep everybody laughing and um, my trolls keep me humble. So <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you, Val. Thank you all for supporting. This is so amazing, this community that we have. Um, you can watch the videos for free. You can like the videos for free. You can share the videos for free. You can participate in the live chat on YouTube for free. Um, if you want to support, the super chat is there. Um, but you all are helping the channel to grow, and I appreciate you so much. So thank you for the engagement. And I need to go put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Hi, Ada. Thank you so much for being here. God's girl, thank you so much for being present in class. Wilbert, is it Cocina de Maggie where burnt tongue? burnt tongues are born. I felt so bad. Somebody got it. Erin. Dun, da, da, da. Dun, da, da, da. Well, hold up. Da, 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 da. Whew, y'all. Okay. So I'm trying some new technology. As you guys can see, I have my Panera and of course there's a delay. I have been working with this all day, but I'm trying y'all. Okay, so we've got the counter cam there. <sighs> so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm trying. I'm trying y'all. <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome to class. Thank you, Erin. All right. Hello, Kim G. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, Wilbert says you like the family friendly content. I am well aware of everything that is happening in the world, um, but this is the place where everyone is welcome and we are all the same because y'all like to eat just like me. Um, I just like to keep it very positive here, but I'm always very well aware of what's happening, but that's not why y'all are here and that's not what I want to talk about. So, all right. So we're going to do a um, strawberry shortcake. Let me go ahead and get my uniform on. So if one of the moderators can drop the link to this apron in my Zazzle store, I am wearing my Maggie apron in khaki, and this is the long, so you guys can check it out. I want to do some giveaways, too. I have some stuff. Since you guys are here, we'll start with some giveaways. I've got some unboxing to do. Of course, we're going to eat. We're going to chat and chow, all of that. So... <laughs> All right, so you guys can see the apron. It's got pockets. It's nice. I like it. It keeps the clothes protected. Um, Gifted one to AB yesterday. You can customize it, put your own name or whatever on it for free. Oh, I said I was going to turn down the air. And let's do some giveaways because I got some stuff here I want to go through. I am drinking. I got a habit of just holding stuff up. So I know there's the counter cam, but it's making me nervous. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yes, thank you. So this is my Panera iced coffee with almond milk and my um, skinny syrups. Skinny syrups are my sugar-free, calorie-free um, flavors and sweeteners. I got a package in, so I'll open it and show you guys. If one of the moderators could also share the link to my skinny syrups, and we'll talk about how you use that. But you guys are going to hear me say to um, eat your calories instead of drink your calories. So I always order everything unsweet, and then I, unsweet, I sweeten them at home. All right. Or in the car. You'll see what I mean. All right. I'm scared to touch it, y'all. I got this whole arm thing, but I see that it's delayed. But hey, this is the best that I got right now. Let me turn down the air. Absolutely, Mona, you take your time. Y'all, in my class, you are free to come and go as needed. If you need to take a bio break, if you got to take care of the family, if you watch live, if you watch the replay, I'm just happy you're here.
And whether you like to announce yourself or you like to ninja watch, you are most welcome here. Hello, oh man, thank you for being present. Thank you, Kim G, for the link. Okay, so I have, I'll just hold it up. Y'all know I've got this little camera here, but it's, <laughs> it's on delay. So this is from Brandless. This is a acacia drawer knife block. I don't know if y'all can see that. I have one in my drawer. Let me see if I can take it out. When you always see me grabbing knives. So I have two of them side by side, but this is what's in my knife drawer. So your long knives will go, you know, in there and then your steak knives will go in here. And uh, I have extra. So we're going to do a little bit of a giveaway. giveaway. <laughs> Let me think of a question. I should have these trivia questions ready. Can someone let me know, since we just talked about skinny syrups, put in the chat, besides using skinny syrups for beverages, how else have I used the skinny syrups? First person to give me an answer gets um, this acacia block mailed to you for free by me. So only answer if you're willing to accept happy mail and provide an address. If you don't want to, I respect that too. And um, I don't know, moderators, um, if my brandless link is on my Class notes, if someone could check, please. Ah, Belle got it in the Maggie Cakes. You're absolutely right. So you guys are going to see more about the skinny syrups. We'll talk about those. So Vel, I will forget. So inbox me and put nice block. Um, I've got your address, so I will send that out to you. Let's see what else is in here. You guys can see now that I have this bag, but it's on delay. Let's see what I got going on. Oh, interesting. I was cleaning up, getting ready for my flight, and I had extra stuff in my luggage. Y'all ever do that? You put stuff in there that it's like, what do I have this for? Okay. Now this is a set of silicone, what are they? I don't know. These things. So y'all see me using these all the time, also from Brandless. So it's wooden on the handle and it's silicone on the, whatever this part is. So you have a ladle. This will be good for your like soups and stuff like that. You have a spatula. I actually need the spatula. Maybe I'll keep this or I won't be greedy. I'll give you the set. Um, spatula, y'all know we're making Maggie cakes tonight. Um, a slotted spoon. This is great for getting things out of Liquids, I guess. I don't know. Um, yep. What is this called? Not a scraper. Is this a spatula? What does it say? Silicone spoonula. I actually like this. It's like nice and flat and you can get around the sides of the bowls. And you know, with the silicone, it keeps the heat and it, it's bendable. So that's nice. This one right here, a spaghetti server. So when you're going in pasta water and you need to get stuff out, I think AB used this with the potatoes yesterday. Yeah, so that's the whole set. If one of the moderators could check the um, link, I think I have a brandless link. If not, I will put it there, but this is the, what is it called? Serving utensil set, I don't know, but y'all can see right here on the counter. This is what we've got. Um, let's see. All right, so, um, ah, Wilbert, let's see. Let me, let me ask a question. I should have these questions ready. Hmm. I used, we're, we'll keep it in the Maggie Cakes theme. 
there are three types of cheese. Oh, I forgot, there's one more. It comes with a little pastry brush. Y'all saw us using this yesterday. Brushing the salmon, so you get a little pastry brush. That's part of it too. There are three types of creamy cheeses that I have suggested can be used in the Maggie cake batter. Who can tell me the three types of creamy cheeses? All right, and we're gonna get started. All right, I'll give you guys time. I wish I had some doo-doo-doo music for you. And um, welcome to class, everyone. Oh. All right. So while you guys are thinking about that, we are going to get started with our strawberry shortcake. This is another, um, this is a, uh, another, Instagram recipe that I found online. Uh, Chef Erin Morley, who is, you know, amazing to me. She does a lot of keto recipes. I'm not keto. Keto allows you to have dairy and I don't eat dairy, cow dairy. Um, <laughs> there's a hint for you, but, um, I do get a lot of inspiration from those recipes. So Andrea says cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and ma mascarpone. Uh, you have one out of the three. So I'll give you a hint. It's three types of animals that make a creamy cheese. So while you guys are thinking about that, whew, that looks so good. Y'all, all I have is food in my social media. So when I open up all the scrolls, it's like new foods. Okay. So let me find this recipe and show it to you guys. It's pretty straightforward, but I want you guys to see what we're making. You know, Sugar-free and gluten-free strawberry shortcake in a mug. As always, take a mug or a ramekin and melt your butter first, then add the rest of your ingredients. Whisk it all together, then microwave on high for 90 seconds. Take it out of the ramekin, and once it cools, slice it in half, I'm going to use this True Whip Zero Sugar Whipped Topping. Add a little bit to the middle and a little bit on top, and then a slice up a strawberry. I like to put some confectioner's swerve right on top of that for extra sweetness, and you are done. This is the perfect summertime treat. Welcome back to Mug Cake Monday. Okay, so I'm taking a screenshot of her ingredients. I did share this link for my members. So there is a community tab post just for members, but we're gonna go ahead and make this. Okay, so Vel says cream cheese, goat's cheese, or <sighs> Neuftichel. We're getting warmer. We have two out of the three now. I'll give you one more hint. The last time I made Maggie cakes, I used a new type of cheese that was pleasantly surprising to me. It's from another animal. So if someone could let me know the three. All right. So this recipe is for a mug cake, which means you need a mug. Let me get the mug I'm using. Okay. So I have this mug and you can see this is pretty wide. Let me see if I can hold this stuff down here so y'all can see. Okay, hopefully this works. So you can see I have this mug here and this is pretty wide. It's gonna be a hard habit to break y'all. <laughs> but um, if I put it here, ah, not bad. Okay, let me just focus. When y'all really need to zoom in, I'll switch it over. For a mug cake, you are going to make a cake in the microwave. Now, if you, uh, remember from the video, she used a ramekin. Just in case anybody doesn't know, I'm going to show you what a ramekin is. 
So if you've ever had crab legs or seafood or anything like that, and they give you these little containers that have like the melted butter or whatever with the little candle underneath, this is a ramekin. You can see this one is what size? I don't know about this size, but they do come in multiple sizes. And I'm going to show you guys the difference on the close up. So if you can see here, we've got this little ramekin. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Compared to the mug, you guys can see hopefully the difference. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So I'm going to use the um, the mug. When I tried using the ramekin before, when we cook this in the microwave, it actually fluffs up and I had spillage over the side. So that was my lesson in trying to use a ramekin. I'm using a mug. This is probably a little bit wider of a mouth than I would need compared to So this is like a proper mug. Y'all see me using this one all the time. I'm going to go ahead and use the big one today because if you saw this strawberry shortcake that she made, she's actually going to make a cake, cut it in half. We're going to stuff it and we're going to top it. Okay. So I'm going to give this one a try. We'll see how it goes. Ah, Erin got it. Erin got it. Sheep's milk cheese. So we had cream cheese, goat's cheese, and sheep's milk cheese. So Erin, inbox me. I think I have it. I think I have your address, but you get the, uh, what is this? I don't know. Slotted the set of utensils. Um, but you guys inbox me and remind me what you get because you know how it goes here. The cake looks good and easy. Okay, Andrea, la loca. Let's give it a try. Why don't we, sweetie? Don't worry, y'all. There's more stuff around here. I love sending happy mail because it helps me to kind of pare things down. I'm going to rinse this out and wash my hands. Hi, Khalees. It's okay. It's okay, you guys. I love how you guys love winning stuff. This is so awesome. I'm going to have to come up with more stuff. I'm ordering more Maggie merch to look at, and then when it arrives, you guys get it. All right. Why is my phone talking to me? Okay. Let me go wash my hands and rinse this out. <laughs> So I have a, a wonderful, in my opinion, wonderful sweet tooth, but um, I try to avoid sugar and uh, I love these little dessert portions for one, for two reasons. One is they use my sugar substitutes that I'll show you guys what those are. I'll try and keep this stuff here so you can see uh, my sugar substitutes and then also uh, the portions are small. So this is a great way when you have a little craving for something sweet, a great way to satisfy that craving. I know I used to have a problem with like, I'm a sucker for a bakery. So if I go into the bakery and I see a whole full size cake and I really just want, you know, a slice or a pack of cupcakes and I really just want one, I'll buy the whole pack and y'all know what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. So one tablespoon unsalted butter. I have salted butter, so that's what I'm going to use. I don't mind a little salt with sweet. It gets... It blends well, kind of like salt water taffy. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So let's see if I hold this stuff up. Okay, it's kind of small here, so I'm just going to hold it up to my face. So if you can have cow dairy, this is where you would use regular butter. That's fine. I avoid cow dairy. So this is what I'm using. You guys have seen it before. I know this package. I think I have one that's not all janky. Hold on. So I didn't even know there was a thing called, uh, I knew there had to be goat's milk, but I didn't know there were so many varieties of goat's milk products. So if you, you know, find out that you can't have cow dairy, something about the proteins in cow dairy, our body, a lot of us, our body does not tolerate. Why? I don't know. I am not a doctor, but you can still have a lot of the uh, dairy experience. And that's what I love to show you all here. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. 
So this came from Whole Foods. You can see this is Delamere Goat's Butter. You can get it online. If one of the moderators could find this, I think it's on my cheat sheet. You can buy it at Amazon, uh, at Whole Foods, or you can buy it in bulk, but it is butter. You guys saw I made the fried apples for uh, AB yesterday. Looks like, cooks like, tastes like butter, but it's just made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. So you can see right there. So Erin Laura says, sheep's dairy is great. I was really surprised with the sheep's milk. What did I have? The Maggie cakes, oh, so good. Can't decide, I think we're gonna do that blueberry today. But let's get this strawberry shortcake on the road. So it says one tablespoon unsalted butter. I'm gonna eyeball it. If I do, you know, more butter, Ah, Aaron says goats are very similar to sheep. Okay, good. So let me see. If I bring this up, maybe y'all can see. Let me try the side by side. Now, I already know that every time I reach for the screen, it's going to be a little slow, but hopefully you all can see. I'm trying to give you guys, I'm trying, y'all. Thank you to um, Mr. Option One for helping me get this uh, equipment and everything. Y'all, it's just me and my iPad and a cell phone. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball a tablespoon of unsalted butter. So hopefully you guys can see here, this just looks like butter. And so this is what I'm gonna put inside the mug. And um, besides the delay, cause I'm scared to touch anything, let me know if you guys like this view with the side by side or the picture in picture or whatever. Okay, so first thing you do, you wanna melt the butter. So I'm gonna put this butter in the microwave. Um, how long? I don't know. Let me rewatch the video. That's what I hate about these reels, but let's watch it again. Oh, I'm looking at the screenshot. I'm like, why isn't it moving? This is my keto, sugar-free and gluten-free strawberry shortcake in a mug. As always, take a mug or a ramekin and melt your butter first, then add the rest of your ingredients. Whisk it all together, then microwave on high for 90 seconds. Okay. She didn't say, so let's just... Um, Let's see how long it would take to microwave this. Side by side looks better. Thank you, Wilbert. You got it. <coughs> oh, got a mess in here. Y'all, it's just me and my kitchen. I gotta run this tray. So I'm gonna take this out for now and put this in the dishwasher, but from time to time, put your microwave tray in the dishwasher or wash it by hand so that, you know, the stuff that's on here doesn't turn into, y'all know what happens. All right, so let me melt that butter. I'm just gonna do 30 seconds and keep an eye on it. It might not even take that long. Remember, butter can go from solid to liquid to sizzling pretty quickly and it's hot. Poor AB. Okay, so it has melted. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we've got our liquid butter in there. All right, let me see, let's get a little bit of. All right, so now I'm gonna put the other ingredients. Let me see so you guys can see. So we have our melted butter, our butter package. All right, let's see what ingredients we need. Five tablespoons of almond flour. So let me go get the almond flour. So this is what I'm using, just came from Walmart. Um, if one of the moderators could add um, almond flour to maybe my cheat sheet, but this is just Walmart brand. You can buy any type of uh, almond flour. If you're trying to avoid uh, carbs or you're trying to avoid, I see I need to reposition this because every time I touch the screen, y'all are gonna see my arm, sorry. We're gonna get there. Um, but this is basically almonds that are ground up into a fine powder and you use it as a flour instead of wheat. So that's almond flour. So it says five tablespoons. So all you do is you melt your butter first and then we're gonna put everything inside this mug.
All right, so I have my one tablespoon measuring cup and let's count out five. So what I'm doing, hopefully you guys can see when I go inside here and then inside the bowl, I just kind of shake it a little bit. I know it's got a delay, but I shake it here so that I get kind of um, a level, you know, not heaping, okay? When you're cooking, you can kind of eyeball stuff, but when you're baking, you do need to be a little bit more precise. Okay, thank you, Val. Thank you for the feedback. One, two, three, four. Oh, it looks like it's moving over here. Five. Hopefully you guys can see. Y'all, when I tell you I spent a while trying to do this and I didn't want to touch it afterwards, so it's just been sitting there on like an hour before the live stream. So we're going to... We're gonna give it a try. We'll change as we go. All right, so we've got our almond flour in there. Let me just set this down. Now, I'm just putting it on a um, paper towel. Counters should be clean, but you know, just stay clean. Uh, two tablespoons of powdered sweetener. So let me get my sweetener. It's good now, yay, y'all. We're gonna get there. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours. It's just always something. Okay, I'm trying to use my phone for this recipe. All right, two tablespoons powdered sweetener. So for powdered sweetener, you guys have seen me use the Swerve. Um, moderators, please make sure this is on my Amazon cheat sheet. But this one right here, it's called confectioner. So this is the powdered sweetener. This is my zero calorie sugar substitute. If you can have sugar, then use powdered sugar. So it says two tablespoons of powdered sweetener. So since I use this measuring cup for the um, almond flour, hopefully you can see there, I'm just gonna wipe it out. So I don't put powdered sweetener, I mean almond flour in my powdered sweetener. All right, this is so nice, y'all. It's kind of working. Ah! I was trying to get this ready last night with AV. It's just a lot. I can't, oh, I'm a one man band over here. All right, uh, two tablespoons of powdered sweeteners. The same thing going in here. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. So if you remember from the recipe, you just start with melted butter, then you just dump everything in. Wilbert says you were here before the Maggie counter cam. <laughs> we need a, a counter cam. Um, thank you, Erin. Um, you crying a celebratory tear. Y'all, I'm telling you, we have, been, we have struggle cooked our way. We're going to get there. Okay, now she says a pinch of salt. So let me get some salt. When I close this, I just try to get the air out and really seal these well before they go into the... Um... Y'all, when I move this way, it goes to the other way. So y'all, that's why I'm looking crazy. Um, but anyway, before I put this in the pantry, because I have had that accident where it wasn't sealed, falls out, it's a hot mess. All right. So it's calling for a pinch of salt. A pinch is like an eighth of a teaspoon, literally, if you were going to pinch some salt out of a container. But remember her recipe called for unsalted butter. This goat's butter that I use is salted. So I'm just going to do like a dash of salt. Let's see. In my hand, I don't know if y'all can see. Just a little bit to go into the, the cake mix. One egg. So let me get the egg. All right, I'm using regular eggs. We don't need to add this to the cheat sheet. Y'all can use whatever eggs you like. I'm just gonna use regular old Walmart 
eggs. Would this work with egg substitute? I don't know. Give it a try, probably. <laughs> you like this setup? Oh, Wilbur, thank you, y'all. I really am trying to get better for y'all. It is just, it's a lot, but thank you. Thank you for the feedback. So we're going to put one egg in here. All right. And uh, half a teaspoon vanilla. Let me wash my hands. Y'all know anytime I touch anything raw, I'm always going to be doing that. And I clean as I go, so let me put my eggs back. All we need next is half a teaspoon vanilla and half a teaspoon baking powder, and we're going to mix it up. Oh, I forgot we're making Maggie cakes. I'm going to leave those eggs right there. All right, so we're done with the tablespoon measure. Now I need to get that half teaspoon measure. Sorry, just loading the dishwasher. Okay, so you all know for vanilla, I'm a little bit fancy. I don't know if you guys, if I hold this stuff up here, yeah, y'all can actually see. All right, okay, look at, look at us, y'all. So this right here, this is vanilla bean paste. Moderators, if you could check and see, I think this came from Amazon or maybe it came from Walmart, but if you could check my cheat sheet. If you have regular vanilla, like, um, like this kind of thing, just your McCormick, your regular vanilla flavors, this is okay. I have lemon. Hey, Athens girl, thank you for being here. Welcome to class. I got some new technology I'm trying out. You can use the vanilla extract. That's fine. It's a little bit light. It's like that clear liquid um, that's made with a little bit of like alcohol. Vanilla bean paste, um, I think it might be made with sugar, but you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see if I open this, move my stuff out of the way. It's got the, it's got to find the camera. You see how you can see the little flecks of, you know, whatever that is, the vanilla bean inside. So for me, it just gives like a really rich, natural vanilla taste. It kind of moves like molasses. So you guys see when it comes out, it gives you that like thick, gloopy. I don't know if that's a word, but it does change the color. It's weird, but it just tastes really, really good. You know what? I should have done the baking powder first because that was dry. I just got so excited about vanilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to rinse and dry this out. All right, and the last ingredient was a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So this is just regular baking powder. Um, where did it come from? I don't know, but this should be a kitchen staple. I see it's getting choppy over there. Y'all, I'm not touching anything. If it dies, it dies. I, I'm just, I'm so nervous that I'm gonna kick myself out of the stream. Okay, half a teaspoon of baking powder. So hopefully you guys can see we're going in here and then you're gonna use the straight edge to kind of scrape it off. That way you have a level amount. and that goes in. All right, so I'll just repeat, because I know sometimes people pop in. This is a strawberry shortcake, Chef Aaron Morley recipe. Um, I'll play the video again at the end, but um, what we have inside the mug, unsalted butter, for me it's goat's butter, that's my substitute, almond flour, powdered sweetener, sugar-free sweetener for me, you, for me, you can use regular um, powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, one egg, vanilla extract, I use vanilla paste, and baking powder. Mix it all up. Stir it up. All right, so y'all know my little whisk. I love this little whisk, so we're just going to get in here. Oh, see, now it's come back to regular speed. Hey, Moose, how you doing, sir? Thank you so much for being here. And y'all, feel free to give me feedback. I'm trying. <laughs> Any more collab time today? Um, if you want to come up, you can try it. But look, um, I'm dropping the link, y'all. 
you already know I'm like I'm a one 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 woman band over here so uh, but no it's just me today and in, in case unless anybody else wants to come up and we can chat okay so this is our batter okay so this is our strawberry shortcake just the cake batter all right, so then she said, I think she said microwave it for a minute and a half. Let's watch it one more time. Y'all know I'm slow. But we got our batter done. Swerve right on top of that for extra sweetness, and you are done. This is the perfect summertime treat. Welcome back to Mug Cake Mondays. This is my keto, sugar-free and gluten-free strawberry shortcake in a mug. As always, take a mug or a ramekin and melt your butter first, then add the rest of your ingredients. Whisk it all together, then microwave on high for 90 seconds. 90 take seconds. Take it out of the ramekin. Okay. Let's get this in the microwave for 90 seconds. Okay. So while that's microwaving, I'm just going to rinse off our dishes. Y'all know I clean as I go, but I'm glad. Oh, thank you, Wilbur. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Yeah. Any of our members who have access to the recipe ahead of time, if you help me get ahead of these steps, then I can be more efficient because <laughs> y'all already know it's a lot, but, um, all right. So while that's microwaving and again, Remember in her recipe, she used a ramekin, but she had a very large ramekin. My ramekin is small, and the last time I used it, it would spill over. So I did the mug so it can rise and then come back down. All right, washing my hands. All right, so while that's in there, I'm going to put the butter and stuff away. Let me get the strawberry. Strawberries. Yeah, <laughs> we're freezing again. Should have kept the powdered sweetener out. I'm going to need that. All right. Let's take a look. Well, it looks kind of interesting. I don't know if y'all can see this. Let's see if it comes alive. So, <laughs> okay. I'm going to pour this out on a plate. Leave it here. So I'm going to use this black salad plate because I'm going to um, dust it with powdered sweetener and the red will pop off. So we have our cake that's, I know, mousse. Oh, Belle said it came out perfect for her. Oh, wonderful, she made it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top over here and then I'm going to turn it over, hopefully centered onto the plate and nothing came out. Oh God. <gasps> well, we're going to let it sit there for a minute because I need to cut it in half and I'm greedy. So I'm going to eat the inside of here and see what happens. So it's looking a little bit sad, but Belle said hers came out perfect. I'm starting with dessert y'all. AV was here. See, and I'm not even in the center. AV was here. I took it to the airport this morning. I miss her already. I packed up the bacalao and the rest of the fried apples and sent her with everything. So I didn't get dessert. I'm eating it today. Oh yeah. Thank you scholars for supporting my friend and her YouTube channel. I love our community. Hi, Andrea. Thank you so much for being here. All right. So let's put this away. Now this cake is still looking pretty hot. It said let it cool and then cut it in half. So you can see it looks kind of spongy, looks kind of weird. We're going to let that cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
start on this strawberry. So we're gonna do Maggie cakes today. I think I'm gonna do blueberry. I have a blueberry goat's cheese that I wanna try. So I'm looking for, you know, strawberries. You know, every once in a while you have one that looks kind of sad, but they look pretty good. Hey, Lauren. Uh, EB wants more, more with AV. Yes, I will definitely let you all know. Oh, I will tell you guys this. Because um, AV is trying to um, get her channel to grow, she is, once we figure out how, we are going to do a, would it be a watch party or a rewatch party? So she can stream on her channel. So you guys can be in her chat and support her. She's not monetized yet. And she's got, you know, a ways to go with the watch hours. Those of you all who have been here, you know what the journey is. But um, that collab yesterday was so much fun. And um, uh, once she lets me know the date, I will definitely put it on my community tab so you guys will see. All right, so let's get a strawberry. I'm greedy, so I'm gonna do two. So I'm gonna rinse these off and then I'm gonna cut them. So let's dry these off. And I wanna get in that cake too so it can really cool down. So yes, definitely stand by for that. All right, so we're gonna come to the strawberries. What I'm gonna do, if y'all saw the picture and if you saw the video, so this, since I did it in the mug, y'all can see it's pretty thick. And I am happy with how kind of uniform it is. It needs to be in the center of the plate for me. But I'm gonna take a serrated knife and I'm gonna try and cut it in half. Let's see. Okay, it's pretty sturdy. So we have two layers, almost like a biscuit. Nice. So we can get this to cool down so you guys can see our strawberry shortcake. So I'm going to let this kind of sit over here and cool just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know why I said that. It's not a song. But y'all know I get excited when things are starting to... Okay, you didn't ask for all that. Focus, Maggie. All right. So I have the kids janky. Okay, that looks horrible. Let me not even do that. Now I can't even look at that. Hold on one moment, please. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay, I got to step it up. Let me get something decent. over here with the pearls on. Let me rinse off this glass plate. Y'all know how you have stuff that you've just been using forever and it's like, but now when you see it online, you're like, what the heck? Moose, are you laughing at me? Okay, so you see this beautiful glass plate. I told y'all this is a struggle kitchen. <laughs> now we got this camera angle. I gotta make sure this looks okay. Oh, look at our, look at our happy face. <laughs> That's why I would decorate, put like two little dollops of uh, whipped cream there, a little smile for the kids. When I would make their breakfast, you know, during school days, I would cut up the banana and, uh, aww. Moose is supporting the Section 8 Struggle Kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, Khalees, I'm trying. Now, look, I, I can't make any, um, and I'm not even centered. Oh, Lord of mercy. I can't make any promises that it's going to stay looking good. I've been working on it. And y'all are my beta. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Moose. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm trying to remember the picture. She sliced her strawberries pretty thin. Khalees loves the knife. Very schnazzy. Okay, my dear. Hold on. I think I have something for you. Some more giveaways. So Khalees, so these are Pampered Chef Quick Cut Pairing Knives. I don't know, can you see? 
Lauren, I am using um, Restream. <laughs> I am not a technical expert, but I am using Restream. Okay, so we're gonna do another, we're gonna do another giveaway. Y'all gonna help me clear this kitchen. <gasps> Sorry, Moose, it's loud. Oh, she says, no, not the other one. The big black one. <laughs> the big black one next to the cake. Oh, what is this knife? Probably something I got from the dollar store. It was one. Okay, here's the thing. I have an as seen on TV issue and I saw probably some infomercial with some Ginzu. But I'll find out what it is and I'll get one. But I'm glad. See, this looks good on camera. Okay, we're still going to do some paring knife giveaways. Just remind me when I come up for air. <gasps> no, are you serious? Oh my goodness. From your lips to God's ears. Okay, let's cut this uh, strawberry. I'm using my little giveaway knives that Khalees doesn't want. <laughs> I'm just going. Okay, so what I did in all seriousness, grouped up the little hairs or whatever, what are they called? Tops, whatever these are. I don't know. So I just kind of grouped them up and then I cut that off. And if y'all remember, I think it was Caudel who said that these, you can use the dry these to make tea or help keep your tummy regular. So once you have the flat surface, then I put that down on the plate so that I have a, um, y'all can see, what is it called? A safe surface to cut. And then I just go down the middle and then just keep going down. All right, one little piece fell off. See, that's the stuff that now that y'all see everything, I would have eaten that. They're called green thingies. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm just trying to get nice little slices. I think I'm going to do two because I saw the chef, hers, just had strawberries on the top. I think I'm greedy. I want um, I want it all. I want it all. Okay, sorry. So we're getting the green thingies bunched up like you're about to pull it into a ponytail. Okay, we're going to cut that off using the little pair of paring knife that Khalees doesn't want. I'm tossing my green thingies. <laughs> Khalees, okay. Khalees says now she wants it. I'm going to come up with a question for you. Um, in order to win, y'all let me know. Should I do the three pack of paring knives or should I split it up into three, um, three giveaways? I kind of feel like just giving it all away. Giving it all away. Phil Collins, throwing it all away. What is that song? Y'all know that song? Okay, um, let me think of something good for the paring knives that she doesn't really want, but she wants. <laughs> um, Hmm. Khalees, do you know my mom's name? I will say, I'll give you either first or last. We call her Nana here. She's our principal. But do you know mom's name? All right, I think I'm going to get a clean black plate. She comes up in the chat from time to time. You know, she's ninja watching. <laughs> okay. Because I was thinking about changing her handle to Nana the Principal. All right. So I just got a clean black plate because this one is fine. But like once I see some cake smears on there, y'all know the presentation is important. So we're going to put the bottom layer of cake here. Not the bottom of the bottle, the bottom of the cake. Why am I getting a spatula like it's that serious? I'm just going to pick it up carefully and center it onto the plate. And I'm going to do whipped cream. Uh, if you guys can, oh, Moose. Oh, look at Moose. Moose says, thank you for the super chat, sir. $20. He says, first name is Miss, last name is Nana. I love it. Oh, Moose. I'm telling you, yeah. Y'all know we don't call, at least my people, we don't call grown folks by their first name. Where do they do that at? Okay. So, Khalees, you got the, Khalees says, Nana, I know that's her name to us, but have you ever seen her name come up in the comments? 
And do you remember first or last? If you don't remember that, I'll give you an option two. Your option two will be, can you tell me both? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Miss Globe Girl got it. Now, Miss Globe Girl, second win for you. You got that shirt, right? I said, inbox me because I forget. You got a shirt? That's okay. It's all right, Khalees. I'm going to give you another option. So, Miss Globe Girl, I will forget. You get the pairing knives. Inbox me pairing knives because I will forget. Y'all, I got a stack over here of stuff I got to mail out. Um, and I think you had a shirt, too. I know Vel knows all the answers. Okay, Khalees, I have this one right here. This looks like the child safety knife. I don't know if you can read that. It says, my safe cutter. I don't know what it is, but this will be the struggle pairing knife. So, Khalees, I'm going to give you another option. Can you tell me... Oh my gosh, y'all are so silly. Janet, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Um... Khalees, can you tell me the boys' names? I have two boys. They are not here, thankfully. But um, Khalees, let me know what my son's names are. Okay, so we have the bottom of the cake. If you can have whipped cream, put on regular whipped cream. I'm using this. This is from Aldi's. This is coconut whipped topping. So cream made from coconut milk. So this is my dairy-free substitute. Yeah, Khalees says this is fun. Oh, Athens said, okay, Athens girl, if you can steal, y'all got a lot of stuff. So Athens girl, go ahead. Can you tell me the boys' names while I'm doing the whipped cream? <laughs> Moose says, swim shady. <laughs> okay, they're, they're proper names at birth that their dad chose. Yeah, my ex-husband named both of the boys. He wanted, oh, I'll give you a hint. He wanted strong, masculine. There you go, Khalees. You got it. All right, Marcus and Alex. Absolutely. Okay, so Khalees, you get the struggle pairing knife. Inbox me your address if you have an address to share. <laughs> Their government names. Yeah, exactly. Y'all know these kids. Um, but yeah, uh, I told their dad, you know, he wanted like strong, masculine, like Roman names. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But no like Caesar or Octavius or anything like that. So we have a Marcus and we have an Alexander. So I had veto power, but dad chose the names. Okay, so we've got our whipped cream here. Swim Shady is the nickname. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are silly. Oh, Moose is gonna name his kid Gideon. Oh my God. All right, so hopefully you guys can see here, we have our cake and we have our coconut cream. So let's go in with the first strawberry. I want to eat this so bad. All right. Let me take this off so y'all can see. I'm just going around. I should have tasted this strawberry to make sure it was good. Y'all know how sometimes you get strawberries and they're like, eh -uh. I'm just making it up as I go, finding empty spaces. Okay. So, so what we have so far. Look at it glistening, y'all. This is, I'm so excited. Moose, I love, I love the girls' names. How about that? I love your baby girls' names. Okay, so we're going to go with the other piece of um, strawberry shortcake, the mug cake, almond flour. So gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free. This was one mug. We cut it in half. So we're going to put that on top. I got to hold it up so y'all can see the cross-section so far. Okay, then we're going to do some more coconut cream. If you can have dairy, this can be whipped cream, almond cream, whatever you like. So hopefully y'all can see. All right, then I'm going to put the other strawberries on top. Okay, Vel, I see something just came through. I don't know how to, you know. Oh, no, don't, don't fall, don't fall. All right, doggone it. Because my uh, cake is a little bit warm, that's okay. See, this is the stuff that I would be fixing. It's a little bit, oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, see what happened? You really need to make sure you get that top piece on there. Let me dust it with the powdered sweetener, y'all. It's sliding, oh crap. Let me get my, um, my powdered sweetener.
starting to slide on me. Back to the swerve. It needs buttercream mousse. All right. So I'm just getting a little bit of spoon and I'm just little dusting, but it's sliding on me, but that's okay. We're going to get our pictures in here. Let me move the, the knife out of the way. Y'all know it's just me and my camera. Oh, sorry. Oh, see, I lost a strawberry. Ah. Oh, all right. You know what? We're just going to, oh God, it tastes cold. Oh, cold. Oh, oh. All right. Let's cut in this thing. Let's use Khaleesi's knife. Now we have a name. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Y'all want something sweet? I'm starting with dessert tonight. All right, so let's, should I cut it or should I? Okay, let me get a fork, put this spatula away because I didn't use it. Let me know, do y'all want to see stuff down here? Or do you, I kind of feel, I got this bad habit of bringing stuff up for y'all. So we're going to taste that. Oh my God, it's so big. Y'all know me and my, yeah. Okay, Lauren, I'm coming to your question, but my mouth is literally watering right now. Mmm, look who's here. Hey. Hey, Moose, how's it going? A uh, hot day, nice day. Mosquitoes are out and you're giving me troubles because, uh, <laughs> That looks good. Ah! <laughs> I was like, what did I do now? Y'all, it's really good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually had a question for you. Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't know if you'll uh, <laughs> have the opportunity to answer it until that plate's empty. Okay. Be like yesterday, just clink, clinking away. <laughs> Y'all, that was so funny. Did, I, I went and watched that back. I had so much fun. Thank y'all for being here. But yes, please. Oh my God, it is so good, y'all. It is so good. But I'm listening, uh, Moose. I'm going to uh, mute so I don't have too many dishes clanging. Go ahead. Uh, how do you decide what kinds of uh, food you're going to make? Is it, like, does it change? Like, I'm in the mood for this kind of thing and let's see what I can make within my boundaries? Or do you ever get, like, I don't know, come across, like, certain kinds of ingredients and then try and figure out what kind of food you can make out of that or uh, you know, what's your, your thought process behind deciding what kind of meals you, you make? Excellent question. Thank you for asking me that. All of the above. Um, I could have a craving for something. I don't really have a lot of cravings these days. I don't know. Like to me, a real craving is you have no outside like influence and you just are feeling like you want chocolate, right? To me, that's a craving. What I get is I see something I can't have. And then I'm like, I'm going to make a way to have that. So, you know, in my social media feed, you know, this strawberry shortcake come up and I was like, I've got strawberries. I can make that. Sometimes it's based on what I have in the fridge. Um, tonight we're going to be making baggy cakes. Y'all know that is my like signature dish. I've been traveling, you know, eating kind of whatever, and I just kind of want something simple, comfort food. So I'm going to do something easy. I knew I had eggs and, um, you know, some goat cheese. But that's why I'm always asking y'all, like, what do you want me to make? So, food. All of the, <laughs> all of the above. Yep, it's good. Mm -hmm. mm. Vel says it's good. Oh, Vel, let me check. Bell sent me some pictures. Did you make it, Bell? I'm just going to pull up your pictures and see. <gasps> Y'all. This is what Bell just sent me. Whoa. Look at our scholars. Look hey, Bell, uh, did you make an extra plate by chance? <laughs> hey, Y'all can tell by now, if you come to Atlanta, you got a place to stay and you got a plate to eat. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. But yeah, I do. I just, um, 
whatever I'm craving. Like I'm thinking now too, like what food do I still have from before my trip? I still have that beef bacon, y'all. Maybe I should, ooh, I have my cinnamon now and nutmeg. Maybe we should try some Christmas bacon, but I'm triggered, you know? Y'all know what happens every time I mess up around here. You make bacon that tastes even better, even if it's not as presentable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I actually eat this stuff. Thank you, Kim G. I actually eat this stuff, y'all. This is so good, y'all. And this was two strawberries, one egg, dairy-free whipped cream, sugar-free sweetener, and a couple spoonfuls of baking. But in all seriousness, this gives you the cake experience. Well, oh yeah, the cake experience without all that, you know, store-bought stuff. Are you asking what my go-to meal is or asking Maggie what her go-to meal is in reference to me? Um, yeah, Khalees. Well, Moose, why don't you say what do you like to eat? Because y'all see I'm over here. I don't know. I make a lot of different things. I, mostly, I'd say I probably cook breakfast the most. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, like, breakfast and dinner. They, I try to keep lunch kind of light. Like me and the girls will do like like a meat and cheese sandwich and some cottage cheese and yogurt and apples or something like that. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. uh, light, well-rounded, uh, go-to meal. But you like a hearty breakfast, right? You like like biscuits and gravy and all that? Need the energy for the day. Um I don't know, kind of like standard meat and potatoes kind of dinner would probably be my go-to meal. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, get some like pork steaks and fry up some skin on like red potatoes. Mm. Uh, you know, make some some pepper gravy to go with it, and cook like mm. some Brussels sprouts. Like me and the girls like Brussels sprouts a lot. Have you ever done bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts? I've done bacon wrapped uh, just about everything. <laughs> so good. I made that for the first time in the air fryer. <clears throat> Y'all. It's, it's tedious doing it with Brussels sprouts though, because you got to bacon wrap like 50 things whenever you've got, at least for me, like my girls might be seven, but they eat more than a lot of adults that I know. Because <laughs> they're growing or are they in sports or what? They're, I'm 6'4", and their mom was 5'11". So they're seven and a half years old, and they're almost five foot tall. Okay. Yeah, Ella's the, the bigger of the two, and I measured her about a month back, and she was 4'8", and weighed like 83 pounds. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, my God. I'm trying to keep it together. Y'all know I can yeah. get excited. Brussels sprouts and bacon grease? <clears throat> Because mm. yeah. I cause usually like if I'm doing potatoes of any kind, I'm gonna have bacon with it, just because mm. like we eat bacon here. Um, so like I'll use I'll cook the <laughs> bacon while the potatoes are starting to fry because it takes a while to get them fried, and then crumble the bacon into the potatoes and use the bacon grease for what I'm cooking my Brussels sprouts in. Bacon wrapped cheese sandwich. Miles, I went to a barbecue place up here this last week, and I went up to my parents for uh, their town did their Fourth of July celebration, and there was this new barbecue place that just opened up not too long ago. My dad told me to try out, y'all. They had some brisket tacos with some in-house sauce and and house-made pork rinds, and like they have, they make all of their own barbecue sauces, and oh, you can taco <sighs> just about anything. <laughs> but yeah. barbecue in a taco, I, I had to go wash up after that. <laughs> I had so much barbecue sauce in my mustache. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I went out in that way of middle America for a conference years ago in Kansas City. And I asked the Uber driver for barbecue. And I am not a barbecue person to me. Okay, Their barbecue sauce is too sweet up there. Oh, too sweet. I had something called burnt ends for the first time. Yes. You had never had burnt ends before? Do I look? 
that burnt ends. No, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> what are y'all doing with barbecue down there in Georgia? What do they do here? I don't know. Like barbecue in Georgia. Let me know. I mean, I'm sure that you've got your own things that are great, but like burnt ends are a staple out here. Like my I favorite know. barbecue joint here in town, my favorite thing to get there is burnt end nachos. It's like standard barbecue nachos topped with burnt ends and like smoked pulled pork and you know jalapenos and sour cream and and pit beans. Mm. Do you know what pit beans are? I don't. <laughs> uh take baked beans and barbecue fry them uh, barbecue. So you put like, like barbecued meat in them and like dress them up and whatnot you know, pit beans oh my gosh <clears throat> yeah i'm just not a big barbecue person but i've had a couple barbecue um some tennessee barbecue nashville one of them places was really good and that kansas city burnt ends y'all oh, i was just like yeah. man I had it flown here. I was like, y'all got to try this. <laughs> yes, Bell, you need to try it. Burnt ends are like the holy grail. No, not the, I'd say somebody knows how to properly smoke a brisket because that's probably the toughest thing to do. Uh, See, Miles, yes, it beans. Yes. And Those are all different things. <laughs> Y'all don't know about pit beans. <laughs> no, I've never heard about that. And I know Athens Girl, our resident vegan, is probably like melting inside. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, hey, go for what it's worth, because I know that one of the biggest arguments or, or like foundational arguments that folks have for being vegetarian or vegan is um, not wanting to support, you know, like the meat industries and whatnot because they are <laughs> genuinely terrible. It's like all the meat that I get out here is locally sourced or sourced myself. Uh, so as much as meat can be ethic ethically sourced, you know, meat and eggs and all that other stuff. So if it makes you feel any better. Maggie done left me. My stream now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You are, what if, look, y'all think I'm playing Moose and Mr. Option One are our lifetime sponsors because <laughs> y'all make this thing possible. I was just, we were talking about meat. I think I'm going to see, and plus to answer your question too, since I've come back from vacation, I'm kind of going through the fridge and anything that's looking like I need to go ahead. So I'm trying not to waste um, Wilbert knows I'm still working on this beef bacon, the five pounder. Let's see how this is looking. But, um, you know, when I have like packages like this, I just feel like it doesn't look, uh, this is still good. So we're going to use that, but this is what I was digging for. Sell by 624. Okay. So, uh, and Moose, I heard you say you source your own meat. I want to hear about that. But uh, in case anybody doesn't know, cause I didn't know, I learned from our scholars. If you don't, if you think you can't have bacon, you may check this out. You can get bacon made from beef. Got this from Whole Foods. So while you're talking to us about how you source your own meat, I'm going to see if I can make some Christmas bacon and uh, mute myself so you don't hear all the clanging. But I want to hear. Are you to burn it. I'm going to burn it. I mean, yes. So like where I live, there's a lot of farmland and a lot of woods and you know, it's easy to go out to uh, make sense. Um, so I, I can go to like my local farmer's market and get, you know, vegetables and like the usual produce stuff that people go to a farmer's market for. But, you know, we can also go and get like meat that was raised by, you know, whoever that person was. And they're the ones that, that you know, slaughter and, and butcher their own livestock um and then a lot of it's also just stuff that i or my friends get uh you know if we bag anything for the season with like deer or turkey or, or anything like that uh we usually kind of like pitch in and and help each other out with cleaning it and whatnot and then we'll all take some of it home um, yeah you know that's what i understand i mean if you look at i don't want to say ancient cultures but like older cultures that's you know like when men or whoever would go out to hunt 
they would share the kill like amongst the families. That's kind of how we all like got here. So I think that's yeah. very responsible. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everybody out here has a deep freeze, Miles. <laughs> A deep freezer, yeah, absolutely. Well, um, you have to because whenever you hunt, you know, because there's there's limitations. Like you have seasons, uh, you know, unless you're like Native American or something, you don't have protections to just go out and hunt whenever you want. So you know, we've got depending on what you use, roughly a month for deer season at the end of the year. And uh, I think they made wild boar pretty much open season because they're a problem. Then like turkey, there's a season and. Uh, if you get lucky, Missouri just reintroduced elk several years back and the population for the elk herds enough that some folks get to go in uh, southwest Missouri and the Ozarks. Uh, so yeah, there's seasons for everything. So whenever you go out, you know, if we have a good year, you know, my friend group will get five or six deer maybe, but usually at least two or three. And then you can't hunt deer again for the rest of the year until next fall. Uh, so yeah, no, you have to have a, a deep freeze to store your meat in until you can get it again. Yeah, absolutely. Every time you say the Ozarks, I think about that show that I couldn't make it past the first episode, but there's a big, beautiful lake or something out there, right? There's a lot. We've got, so the Ozark sits over, I believe it's three aquifers. It's like giant underground bodies of water. Uh, we've got the largest collection of freshwater bodies of water south of like Minnesota and Wisconsin. Oh, and wow. we've got the largest uh, uh, subterranean cavern network, whatever, largest network of caves in North America. Wow. Yeah, I, okay. so I could go, you can't go 30 minutes in any direction without passing some kind of lake or pond or river or something you can go in or get in or fish out of. Nice. So do y'all have, I know like where I live, y'all know I'm in Atlanta. Um, Chattanooga is like a couple hours drive or something from here. I've never been, well, I've been, but they have like those underwater caves. They do tours and you can see all that. Do y'all do all that stuff up there in the Ozarks? Yeah, there's a, there's actually a place called Fantastic Caverns. It's pretty close to here. And then we've got, oh, caves down at couple of like historic war sites and most of the caves out here because Missouri was like a relatively new state during the Civil War and we were a split state. It's like the northern half was Union and the southern half was Confederate. Uh, so there was a lot of uh, like internal struggle and fighting and whatnot out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I love bacon. I know, right? Yeah. I'm going to get through it. I think by tomorrow, y'all, we might be able to be done with this five pound pack. Wilbert, I know you've been <laughs> I'm eating it. The boys are eating it. Everybody's eating it. But Costco, that's what I got. Yeah, all that to say, the the caves got used a lot for people hiding out for war purposes. So we've got a lot of pretty decent sized caves and and cave networks out here, both uh, that you can go through without being submerged in water, and some that are water submerged. Uh, Miles, I used to go spelunking, but I've got back problems now. Oh. Keyless, my, me and my friend group, we uh, we process all of our own meat. That's awesome. So, is there a meat that you don't eat? So you eat beef, pork, deer, um, chicken. Is there any? I won't eat possum. Possum doesn't taste good. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't thinking of groundhog, squirrel, turtle, raccoon, deer. I've had a horse. Buffalo, turkey, chicken, grail, uh, or not grail, quail, grouse, pigeon. I've never had bear, though. This is weird, because I've had gator meat more often. I've had gator meat a few times. That stuff's really good. Uh, but no, I've never had bear. I was going to ask about that. So you've had alligator. I remember going to like some seafood restaurant, and they were selling like I don't know if they call them gator balls or whatever, like little deep fried, you know. Got some Rocky Mountain oysters out there? I don't know what Whatever it was. New Orleans Bayou oysters? <laughs> I couldn't. I just couldn't bring myself to, um, I just couldn't. Rat? Yes, I've had rat. 
<laughs> I know, Bill. I'm over here like, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I well, thought I was dangerous. Well, the horse, uh, so like obviously, you know, horse isn't really like food meat. Uh, but like if you live somewhere where you don't necessarily have a whole lot of money and you know, most of your sustenance comes from what you can source and you've got a horse that has to be put down because of whatever reason. <laughs> Poor well, Ad Athens girl is like our gluten free scholar. I mean, a gluten free, our vegan scholar has just had enough. I mean, I could move on from the meat side and go to like all of the different fruits and vegetables and yeah. roots and tubers and stuff. What vegetables do you eat? Yes. The only food that I don't like is cooked tomatoes. So you don't eat like pasta sauce, pizza sauce, any of no, that? No, like I'll eat that. I don't like the, the chunks of tomatoes. Mm. Like I don't like biting into a cooked tomato. I, I, unless it's fried green tomatoes. Oh, like a stewed tomato. <laughs> Yeah, uh, or like diced tomatoes. Like, I you will never find tomato chunk of any kind in the chili that I make. Ah. No. And yeah. then I can't eat stuff that has penicillin in it, like blue cheese, and uh, I have to be careful about things like bread mold and whatnot because that's a natural penicillin. Oh, so you have a serious allergy? I didn't know um, that. Ugh. Wow. I guess yeah. That's good to know. Wow. You know, like we were talking about yesterday, uh, I think, yeah, during your stream with AV. Did y'all enjoy that? Wasn't that so much fun? Uh, I have to tell you guys something. And I know we have lots of scholars in here. I don't know if I should say. Uh, I won't say. Let me just, I'll hold on and let me let me say first. But it was really, really fun. I'd love to know what y'all thought about the uh, collab yesterday. Because that was my first in-person collab, right? Yeah, because I've just done the virtual. I mean, have you had Lee pop in a couple times? Lee hasn't been here. He's been on the screen. No, he wasn't here. I was just saying oh. that. Yeah, that was just the first time that someone's actually been, except for the boys and Nana. But I wouldn't call that a lab. I would call that vultures circling, circling. <laughs> well, now you gotta tell us whatever it is. I know, I know. I will. I think I can. I just, I want to be very, very careful. Um, you know, carrots. Yeah. So like, you'll do candied carrots and savory carrots, but not boiled carrots. Hmm. I, I love candied carrots. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bill and uh, Moose, my moderator, I'll, I'll inbox you guys and find out if it's okay to share for public consumption. It probably is, but I just want to be sensitive. But Aaron, you love the collab too? Oh, yay. I don't like boiled carrots. I will eat them raw, but I don't like, oh my gosh, guess the meat. I'm scared. <laughs> Y'all, I was trying to steer the conversation away from the meat topic so that Athens could continue to hang out. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> For our resident um, vegan, do you ever do um, moose? Do you ever do like a meatless Monday? Or you know how they have those like meatless meals? Or do you eat meat in every meal? No. I mean, I eat protein in every meal. That's right. Amethyst was here. Thanks, Bill. Okay, going in the air fryer. Christmas bacon. <laughs> so well, I try to have protein in all of our meals, but sometimes, you know, the protein comes from you know, like beans or peanut butter or something like that. All very good plant-based sources, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. The fried apples. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, we eat a lot of uh, a lot of vegetables and and things like that. Um, so like eggplants, probably one of my favorite. Uh, so, like, we grow our own eggplant and cucumbers and zucchinis and carrots and turnips and beets and figs and apples and pears. Now the pear tree died. Lions, tiger. <laughs> but, no, we, we grow most of the, like, plant-based stuff that we eat. Try to keep it mixed up. I got to learn the fun way early on what happens whenever you don't pick stuff like broccoli and cauliflower and 
Brussels sprouts and whatnot on time. It grows up into a tall, stretched out mess. Did you say broccoli grows tall? Yeah, if you don't pick broccoli at the right time, it stretches out. It's like all of the little stalk things at the tree ends. It's like, you know how we usually refer to broccoli as like trees? So the trunks will keep growing and get longer and longer until you've got the little like leaf cluster parts at the end of these really long stalks if you don't um, harvest it at the right time. Wow. In the ground. See, the soil from out here in the Ozarks is so rich because of all of the like minerals and the natural water and whatnot that we have out here that like I remember being out, I lived in Southern California for a few years and I remember going to the farmer's market out there and there were folks who literally trucked out Ozark black soil and sold it at the farmer's market for like $10 for a gallon bag. And people would pay for it because it's just a desert out there. You well, know, we, we grow everything on the ground. Who needs miracle grow when you've just got miracle dirt? <laughs> miracle dirt. <laughs> that desert just being out there in salt lake city i mean i feel like i sound different i feel like my voice is different it was just so dry and salty. Yeah. also we compost oh nice okay so, well, like, the, only, the only stuff that goes in the trash in my house is stuff that can't be recycled or composted it's like we've got separate containers for like tin aluminum plastic glass cardboard paper uh so really, the we don't have a lot of trash. Uh, but yeah, no, because we compost, you know, the soil that we want to grow stuff in is richer than it might have, might have been in the first place. Interesting. So Khalees is saying have a guest like Moose or, or TLA and have them guess. What kind of game are we playing? Maybe I missed talking something. about the guess the meat thing. Like cook four different kinds of meats and have your guests try and uh, guess what it is by taste only that requires a lot of trust i mean i don't know if i would do that like if you so you close your eyes and i don't tell you what it is or i just serve it to you and it's like you you can't identify what it is and i mean i could identify the category for the most part just by looking at it so like you can't make you know pork look like chicken or turkey look like beef mm -hmm. or like fowl, fish, and livestock all have uh, distinctly different meat patterns. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, you can uh, you can make your own garden pretty much anywhere. Like I've got a friend who lives in Chicago. Uh, I've got a few friends who live around Chicago, but uh, I helped them because they had a little like three foot by five foot balcony. And it helped them get a little potted plant thing going on on their balcony so they could grow their own stuff. Growing their own squashes and, and whatnot. Because the person that I helped there was uh, vegetarian and gluten sensitive. Um, so I, I actually showed her about the whole like spaghetti squash and, and stuff like that. And then she got to grow her very own spaghetti squash and, and you know, cook with it so she could have her her food without having to worry about gluten because gluten-free pasta is no fun. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not blindfolding anybody, Khalees. That could go bad very quickly. Oh, really? When we went to the cooking class. To garden. Mm -hmm. When uh, we did the Maggie meet up here and we went to the cooking class, the chef did a mac and cheese, a gluten-free mac and cheese, but the she did use a gluten-free pasta and it was fine, but it's like a very sensitive like you have to cook it like at precisely the right time and then you can't do certain things to it you have to be it's like you have to handle it with kids gloves and you know for the the way i'm wilding out in here that's not gonna work for me i would probably just eat the regular thing and just eat less of it like a special treat but not all the time tastes like paper oh no y'all yeah. well i say like if you aren't gonna eat regular pasta then you should absolutely go for like vegetable pasta. But using the little tool things to make noodles out of pretty much whatever. Like I like making 
noodles out of eggplant. Eggplant's like my favorite. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, most things once you once you start making it gluten free, it takes some of the life out of it. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, y'all, that's why I call them substitutes. You're, you'll never hear me saying I'm getting our ingredients ready for our Maggie cakes. You'll never hear me say that this is a pancake. I say it gives me the pancake experience. So, you know, I trust me. When I made that real uh, creme brulee, y'all, I had a moment because it was just, you know, simple ingredients, but real butter, real sugar, real eggs. It was so good, but... I just can't have it every day. I have to save it for a special, you know, occasion. So uh, we are going to get started on Maggie Cakes. Moose, you're welcome to stay up here, but I want to go ahead and get started with the batter um, so we can start cooking since we may have some new people uh, here. I'm making breakfast for dinner tonight. Maggie Cakes are, I call them, my signature dish. Um, I made breakfast for dinner for the boys one night, and I couldn't have anything that they had. It was um, Bisquick pancakes and log cabin syrup and thick Log cup. cabin ain't syrup. It's chemically flavored high fructose corn syrup. Okay. Well, that's what we had. I know. I probably should have something, like, attached like to it. Like calling margarine butter. Get out of here. Flavoring your oils and your your sugars and your what and whatnot. Uh, margarine is not butter. Margarine is vegetable oil that's been chemically altered to look and taste as close to butter as possible. Yeah, that so, like it's not butter. Yeah. Yeah. Like country crock. <laughs> I know. It's a miracle I know. whip over a, like a real mayonnaise. Store-bought stuff, Miracle Whip and mayonnaise is basically the same thing, but like a real mayonnaise? What's a real Miracle mayonnaise? Whip. Have you never made mayonnaise? Yo, a homemade mayonnaise? Anything that you ever eat that you would use mayonnaise or Miracle Whip on, the first time you try it with homemade mayonnaise, you'll never look at the stuff off the counter. <laughs> like People can be on their their high horse about like Dukes or Miracle Whip or, or whatever, Heimel, Heimelman's or Whatever the store bus stuff is, yeah. yeah. Like, don't come talk to me unless you use Dukes. I'm like, don't come talk to me unless you know what mayonnaise really is. Okay, so can you give me a recipe? Maybe I'll make it tomorrow. It's just eggs, right? Um, no, it's more than just eggs. I don't actually. I don't know what all would be against your personal like, sensitivity. Well, yeah. The recipe, I can, I can look at it even. Even if I don't eat this stuff, y'all, I'm just cleaning my griddle. You know, spills over. Um, but even if I can't eat it, I'll think we have a troll. I'm waiting for you to get a troll that's like mustachio's mustachio. Mr. Ristachio. <laughs> you have some handsome guest appearances. <laughs> oh, man. What in the world happened to my face? My face has been turned into a phallic cutout. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Thank you, Mr. Ristachio. Homemade mayo. Yeah, so we were talking about homemade mayo. Um, see my well, I'm, I'm looking for a recipe that doesn't have anything in it. Lemon and salt. That's my thought. It was like eggs and oil. But yeah. I mean, yolks or something like that. I haven't that. made it in a while. Because I've been lazy lately, and there's a, a place up the road that makes their own mayonnaise, and I just have been buying it from them. Okay. I'm well, big on supporting, like, local yeah. business if I'm going to be lazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to. Um, Miles, if there's a recipe that you have, or if anybody has a homemade mayonnaise recipe, I got three of these in the fridge. You know what I hate whenever I'm trying to get a recipe for something and I have to scroll through 72 pages of stories and like stuff about the recipe and, and just all this useless stuff. Put the recipe at the top. I know. I would, I'm going to frozen, so I'm going to bring him. He's still here, y'all. Um, oh. Sorry. 
No, 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 you're fine. Oh, you were doing other stuff. Okay, I see what you're saying. I guess if I've got my other tab open, it uh, ah, okay. my camera for a second. You're fine. I'm going to, I'm cleaning off the counter. Let me see if I bring this back up, y'all. If I get kicked out of my own stream, Moose will hold it down. Uh, Rice stash, yeah. Oh, we had a question, Moose. Let's see if He's I can do this. the office assistant. <laughs> All right, so do you beat the eggs while they cook? Is oh man, are you asking that about the mayonnaise? I'm gonna go check on our bacon, y'all. Both Mona, we have a new troll. <laughs> yeah, a rather good looking troll, I might add. <laughs> I missed it. Wait a second. Oh, I can't let me make it big, y'all. I can't see the. I don't even know if I want to look. I'm just going to try and focus. I'm cleaning off my counters. We're going to try and make these Maggie cakes. We were talking about homemade um, mayo. Oh, C. Miles is telling us. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm going to wash my hands and check on our bacon. If you can put other stuff in your mayo, if you ever want to, like, spice it up any particular way, mm -hmm. uh, like, one of my favorite things to do with it is if I'm going to use it for, like, a... Uh, like certain kinds of sandwiches or meats is I'll put like uh, some dill seed in it because I I've, I've got a thing for for dill seed flavor. Uh, I have smoke coming out of my air fryer. Y'all already know what's gonna happen. I'm here for it. It's fine. <laughs> this is what happened. I'm I got distracted. Y'all, here we go. So just you already know, but it tastes so good. Let's see. Let me get a cutting board. Yeah, Val, you better throw a pause on that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, y'all. Okay, they're going to come for me. They're going to come for Ooh, me. I bet you it tastes good, though. It does. It does. All right, so we've got our burnt Christmas bacon again. One of these days I'm gonna get it right, but I'm gonna let it cool. You know, you gotta make bacon like pancakes or waffles. The first one's always the tester that gets a little overcooked and then the rest of them are good. Yeah. But you only ever do the first round, so yeah, you don't get the rest me, And I don't wanna be greedy. I'm still gonna eat it. I don't wanna waste. I just, you know, I can't multitask well, so. Uh, yeah, Keely, I only use the egg yolks for mayonnaise. I don't use the whites. I'll take the whites. Because I'll, I like to make mayonnaise. Whenever I do make mayonnaise, I'll make it whenever I'm doing something else I can use just the egg yolk for the egg whites for. Uh, I, mayonnaise, you don't use the egg whites. Yeah. No. Every time I've ever made mayonnaise, it's been more of a yellowish color than anything because of the egg yolks. Mm. You know, if you put something else in it, I mean, you can always get creative with it. Uh, like I made mayonnaise for my girls a while back, and I put some uh, some food coloring in it and dyed it pink. They had a blast. Aww. Well. Whoever sends me a recipe for homemade mayo, I will definitely try it. The ingredients look really basic. I don't know what the prep time is, but I'm down to try it. It's very simple. Sounds good to me. I like simple. Because I obviously will mess it up if it's... <sighs> Something told me to set the timer, but... Yes, I did make princess mayo. I've got princesses that i got to take care of. Uh -huh. <laughs> I make a lot of princess stuff. Pink mayo. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Ristachio. I tell you, these, who are these people? I don't know. All right, so we are going to start with our Maggie cakes. I have um, goat cheese. I was looking to see if I still had some of the sheep's milk cheese from before, um, but I didn't, or I, I didn't find it, but I did find this. Let me do this. Does sheep's milk cheese taste much different than goat's milk cheese? 
It does. To me, it's drier and it's saltier. So for me, when it's like the shaved one, it's a great substitute for a Parmesan. But the creamy one, it actually gave my pancakes last time a lot of um, structure, like some thickness, like some, you know, hold to them. Okay, they still have questions for you. Um, so let me... Um, Homemade me get... mayonnaise doesn't last very long. You'll want to use it within a couple of days. Oh, a couple of days. Ah, well, gotcha. I mean, it's like, how long does homemade bread last before it starts to mold? Compared to store-bought bread that you can just leave sitting out and it'll dry up before it ever molds. Because they're mm. so full of like preservatives and chemicals and stuff. Mm. I have one of those emulsion things. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. Those in those dirt that you put underneath the soup or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I use a fork or a whisk. <laughs> oh, God. I've, got a hand, I've got a hand crank, one of those uh, dig meters, blender things. Mm -hmm. hand crank ones. You know, I'll use that. I don't know what a, a, a mos, emulsion. Yeah. Are. It's a hand, like a very fancy like hand blender that goes oh. underwater. I don't spend money on something that I already do. Yeah. You might not need it as a, um, <laughs> as a what is it called? An kitchen appliance. Strong, independent young man. <laughs> it's okay, man. Okay. So let's, uh, let's look at the Maggie cakes. It's a two ingredient recipe. So Moose is still with us, but just in case anybody's new here, all you need, this recipe is two ingredients, cream cheese and, um, and eggs. But because I'm dairy sensitive, I'm using goat cheese and eggs. Now you can use regular goat's cheese, but I do have, um, this one in the fridge that I'm going to go ahead and use. This is blueberry vanilla. Um, so you can see it's goat's cheese and it's surrounded by blueberries, hopefully sweetened with vanilla. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So this is a six ounce log. So it's six eggs and six ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and uh, blend it up together. So <laughs> peanut butter toast. I'm going to mute, but I'm here. Oh, does that mean I'm back up? It does. Sure. I was responding to a message. Okay. No problem. I will say, though, that um, specific goat's cheese you've got there is one of my favorites to get. I love the blueberry goat's cheese. Oh, yummy. I call it the blueberry goat log. Yes. So this goat's cheese, because the blueberries are inside already, it's going to turn mm -hmm. the Maggie cakes blue. So since we were talking about, you know, what, pink mayo and other things, this will change your pancakes blue. Usually when you see Maggie cakes, I've made them with plain goat's cheese. And then I just sprinkle blueberries in there so I have little dots of blue. But you know what? This is what I'm doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all of it, but I'm not going to cook all of it. So let's see. So I just opened the package. It's a little bit messy, but you guys can see here. And I'm just going to break so it apart. Good. Yeah, with my hands into little sections so you can see the blueberries in there. I'm just going to break it apart into little sections and put it in the blender because you want all of the goat's cheese for me. could be cream cheese for you. You want it all underneath the blade. So I'll show you guys. I'm just literally breaking it apart and wash my hands again. <laughs> hey there, Lisa. Lisa says hi, Maggie. so much it's so good to hear from you all right so i'm using a blender you can, well this is a little mini food processor if you have a blender or like a little nutra bullet or anything that's fine so this is one log and you guys can see i just pushed it down below the blades so since this was six ounces i'm going to do six eggs so it's a one-to-one -one ratio hey lisa welcome welcome I am using whole eggs, but Athens Girl, our resident vegan, said that this works well with the just egg and the vegan cheese. Um, I have also used it with the egg substitute in the carton, but I try to stay natural, but y'all y'all know I am not the food police. So I'm just going to crack my six eggs. What's just egg? Is that like an egg alternative substitute something or other? 
It is. It's made from plants, um, maybe cauliflower. And Athens Girl, I don't know if you're still on, but um, if anybody's tried the Just Egg, let us know what it is. Or maybe one of the moderators can look it up and let us know what's on the ingredient label. I bought it and tried it once as a test and it had a good egg texture. So it gave you that kind of creaminess of like a scrambled egg. It's in a container, a liquid, a yellow liquid that you pour. But for me, the problem was like, I got the texture, like the mouth feel of an egg, but the taste was like of a cauliflower. So it was weird. You know how you anticipate something tasting a certain way and then you eat it and you're like, oh, I wouldn't expect Like when you go to your friend's house and they serve you mashed potatoes, but it's mashed cauliflower. Who would you better, do you better warn people who are coming over because you're not going to pull one over on them unless their no. taste buds don't work. Absolutely. Let me count my eggs. One, two, three, four. Okay, I got two more. I'm big on the substitutes, y'all, but I always mm -hmm. ask. If y'all remember when I was cooking for AB yesterday, she made the dinner, I made the dessert. I asked her, would you be open to trying the um, sugar-free, um, dairy-free, gluten-free option? And she said yes. So oh, I don't man. think you surprise anybody. You know, you don't do that. That's just bad in general. All right, so we've got six eggs in here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I have. So we've got our blue, uh, blueberry vanilla, goat's cheese, and eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this just like it is. If I were using plain goat's cheese, you could put whatever you want in there, whatever you like. You could do sweetener, you could do vanilla. You guys have seen me use the guinea syrups, all of that. All right, so I'm gonna put this up and wash my hands. Oh, Lisa's got the just eggs. So I'm gonna pull that up and come back. Just egg is made from water, mung bean, protein isolate, canola oil, gums, and seasonings. Mm. Anybody know what mung bean is? Is that something I can grow? <coughs> no, I... <laughs> that's where that's where my mind goes. I love sprouted mung beans. The deli's here do them on their bars. Yeah. Aw, thank you, Lisa. All right, so let's see if we can do um, this. Okay. My face is squished. No, sorry, Moose. I'm trying to say, I don't know. Uh... You're fine. Le leave it, Maggie. It was fine. Put it back oh. the way it was. Okay. The okay. countertop's more important. <laughs> Looks better than my face anyhow. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Y'all, and I know it's on a delay. Y'all, look, I'm, I'm doing the most, okay? So we, <laughs> we have our burnt Christmas bacon. Go ahead and clown me now. Oh, my God, it looks horrific, horrific. But I bet you it have tastes you, good. Have you tried a bite of it yet? No, I Just haven't. To it's good? Yeah. Because if, if it's overcooked, you're going to want to make some more. So you may as well go ahead and taste a bite of it now. Y'all, it's really good. I know. I know. Okay. I'm embarrassed because I know it's just a minute, a moment of time before you know who pops up every time I mess up. All right. So let's clean this up. And you guys can see this is our eggs and um, goat's cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and blend it up. So well, it's just the two ingredients, right? Nothing else? Yeah, just the two ingredients. Yes, Lisa, we got fancy. Look, sometimes it's in real time, sometimes it's on slow time, but y'all, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, so again, your two ingredient recipe for Maggie cakes, eggs, and any creamy cheese. It can be cream cheese if you can have dairy. It can be goat's cheese, which is a little bit softer, or it can be sheep's cheese, which is a little bit more. All work great. So I'm going to put the top on here, and I'm actually gonna mute myself and blend. Um, Let's see it so we can commence the roasting. I'm going to mute because the, the blending is going to be loud. Um, Moose, do you want to hold it down while I blend or you all want music? Uh, I mean, I can commence the roasting. roasting but if the crowd would prefer your groovy elevator tunes over my hillbilly backside. Thank you, Omega. It's extra crispy. Yeah, y'all, this is just... 
Let's see. Where is it? <laughs> I know. No. Hit the leg for Maggie. See, you don't need to hit the leg for me. I'm uh, just uh, an unfortunate <laughs> byproduct of the channel. <laughs> Moose, you are a lifetime channel sponsor. You've been incredibly generous, and I appreciate the support and all the insights. Because y'all know Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only four months old. So let's see. We're going to blend here. So I'm going on mute. I know, right? I have no idea where Alex gets it from. Sometimes when the boys are here and I rewatch the videos, I'm like, he was dancing behind me the whole time. Great. Okay. Comes by it honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hopefully you guys can see here. So we had this purple juice. I know it looks really weird, but I want to show you guys. You see how it's kind of watery? Okay, it's giving us the delay. But you guys can see how it's kind of jiggly. So compared to regular pancake batter, it should be that watery. The reason why it's this purple color is because we had the blueberries in there in the goat's cheese. If you just use eggs and cream cheese, it would be yellow. That's expected. All right. Now I'm going to take the blade. I'll show you guys. I'm going to take the blade out so you can see. I still got some chunks of cheese in there. Hopefully this comes out well. I really should have probably blended it a little bit more, but. Like this, Keyless. What are you doing? Oh my God. Dealing with the mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, Moose, no, don't, don't hurt yourself. Good grief. I'm gonna blend just a little bit I'm more. Fine. Okay. I've had, I have had grown men break their hands on my head. A little slap isn't gonna hurt me. <laughs> I got a thick skull, Maggie. Oh, she's blending. She's dancing. No, I just kind of deal with the mosquitoes, Keyless. I uh, swat them if I can catch them, but sometimes they get the best of me. Okay, I got a little bit better. I don't know if y'all can see. I got a little bit better. So the, here's the thing with the blueberries already inside. I'm going to show you guys. So you see that I'm blending it, but you see you can still get some blueberry skins that don't like go all the way in the batter. So if you like like a really smooth texture, I would drop the blueberries in the way y'all usually see me doing it. But this is fun. And this is what I'm doing tonight because I had the uh, cheese. All right, so I'm going to get my griddle out and show you guys how to make these pancakes. Maggie cakes. The cookout looks? Are you talking about like the things that you can burn, either candles or tiki torches or whatever? Uh, like I've tried all kinds of different things between the the candles and and the stuff that comes in like in an oil form and a canister and you know, different kinds of smoke and mosquitoes out here don't care. So it's just kind of part of living in the Ozarks. Of course, oh, yeah. I've lived in the, I've lived in the South for a short period of time. I'm I'm okay with the mosquitoes that we've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all got small pterodactyls that suck your blood out of your bodies. Oh my gosh! I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, we but out here though, uh, the mosquitoes aren't the problem. Out here, it's chiggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those things will eat you up, and those itch a thousand times worse than a mosquito bite does. Oh my goodness. Right. So I am going to use the mini dash in case anybody's not familiar. Um, moderators, I think I put this on my Amazon cheat sheet. If you have a skillet, you can do it on the stove too. I've got my little crusty mini dash. Had a little bit of overflow. Let's see, overflow. But y'all can see it's like a little George Foreman, but this is the one that's smooth on the top and the bottom. I'm just wiping it off because y'all know sometimes stuff gets messy. So I'm going to plug it up and the light's going to come on. And once it gets to the correct temperature, what is the temperature? I don't know. Whatever dash says it is, then the light will go off. But you want to make sure that your cooktop is greased up. So I'm going back with the goat's butter. Y'all know my Delamere goat's butter. I just open it up like a magic marker. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I literally just, before I plug it in, and then I'm going to do this between each pancake too, I'm literally just going top and bottom. Top and bottom. So hopefully y'all can see. Yeah, I think you can see a little bit that it's nice and shiny. And we're going to go ahead and plug this in. 
You don't have to wait for it to preheat. I've done it both ways, but you know what? Let's let it preheat. Then you just cook and believe it or not, they're gonna fluff up nice and thick. Ooh, we gotta get our blueberry syrup. And I think I'll just do whipped cream and syrup. I think we're good with the fruit. All right, what is the... Oh, AV was like tickled every time. I don't know, y'all know I don't know stuff. I just, I just figure it out. How much? I don't know, I just work here. <laughs> so do you have any uh, anything lemon to go with your Maggie cakes? I do have do a, lemon. a lemon. Zemon last lemon zest or something? Mm. Okay, so Khaleesi's a frozen screen on the third. I'm waving my hand there. I know y'all. Sometimes it's frozen. Sometimes it it gets better. Um, it's my my little janky phone. I do have some lemon. Um, maybe I could zest some lemon, or I could put some lemon in the batter. I've done that. What's your third color gonna be? The powdered sweetener, the white. Actually, you've only got the one color on the Maggie cakes this time because you mixed it all together. So it's not going to be the two colors. You're right, Moose. Um, what does Nana always say? I, I know. Nana says three colors on a plate. Is the bacon a color? Burnt. I don't know if that's a color. <laughs> Y'all, this looks so horrific. Oh, my God. It looks so bad. Yeah, the bacon, the powdered sugar, or whatever sugar substitute. And the mm. Maggie cake. It tastes so good, though. Oh, yeah. You could garnish with strawberry. Ooh, mint. Mm. Do you grow mint at all, Maggie? That's an easy thing. It helps keep the bugs away. I am horrible with plants. I'm great with fresh cut flowers. Horrible with plants. Keyless has got to get back to work. Give you the heads up so you can say bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. The class. Okay, I think our light went off. Let's see if we can. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. You don't really have to do anything to keep mint alive. Just kind of plant it and occasionally make sure it gets water if you go through a dry spell. I don't know what. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm trying to use a ladle so that they're uniform. Oh, I guess I should be explaining to y'all. So we pour the batter in here, and then we close, and then we top. The key to the Maggie cakes is butter and syrup on each level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did say two hours. Y'all, look at me. Haven't even. Oh. Okay. Focus, Maggie. So Moose knows all about this. In case anybody's new here, I use Walden Farms. This is uh, blueberry syrup, calorie-free, gluten-free, sugar-free. You can use any syrup that you like. I think I'll make a three stack tonight, maybe more. Y'all, this burnt bacon is so good because it's yeah. sweet. I think it's the sugar that makes it brown really fast. Oh, like it's not the bacon that's burnt. It's just the sugar caramelizing. Oh, yeah. And y'all? You know, maybe if you set your air fryer to a slightly lower temperature, so you could cook the bacon a little longer uh, without caramelizing the sugar stuff as quickly okay we got four strips of beef bacon left so tomorrow we'll do it again that's how i feel i mean you're better about that than i am every time i make bacon it feels like i cook a pound at a time i use a half pound of bacon just to make a pot of like black eyed peas or something or green beans oh. you could put bacon in your green beans yeah caramelize some onions uh, bake off some or cook off some bacon, like get it nice and brown, and then throw the green beans in there and then throw in your seasonings as needed. Mm. How do you make green beans? You don't want to know. Open the can. <laughs> um, I don't really eat. Let's see, if I were to make green beans, I buy them fresh and I toss, I make like green bean fries where you toss them with like oil and salt and um garlic powder, put them in the air fryer, and they crisp up. <coughs> Still getting over that Denver air, y'all. The brown sugar has that molasses in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. But no, I don't. I don't really have a green bean recipe. Ooh. 
Get excited. Let's see. What kind of plate? We need a white plate. Yeah. Okay, and so for anybody new, my little presentation hack, if I'm cooking something dark, okay, the bacon is not supposed to be this dark, but I would plate it on a white plate so that it pops. If I'm cooking something light, like eggs, light in color, then I'll use a dark plate so that it pops. So we're waiting on this pancake in here. It's probably good. Ooh. So if you can see what I see, I know you can't see it from this view, but the dash is starting to raise up a little bit. So our pancake is fluffing up. Excuse me. Let me get my spatula and I'm going to show you guys our first Maggie cake. I think I'm going to make a three stack. When you, think, about... you want to use the little um, silicone. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, I thought I, I didn't want to talk over you. No, this is your show, Maggie. Talk. I'll shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'll be quiet. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see from down there. It's a little bit brown from the uh, butter, but let me show you guys. Let me see if I can bring this down. That looks so good, man. So hopefully y'all can see. It's got nice and fluffy, so it's kind of puffed up like oh. a pillow. All right, so here's the deal. While it's still warm, we're going to do the butter, and we're going to do the... Um, syrup so i'll show you let me turn this back on so i'm going to clean the griddle just in case you have you know any crispy bits on there and then go back on the griddle with the butter and then i'm going to pour and this ladle is actually a really good measure gives you one nice full pancake or maggie cake goes all the way to the edge and so we will close so if you have you know whatever fruit or whatever inside here it'll change the color so we've got our maggie cake i'm going to do the butter and syrup on this let me get a little paring knife <laughs> all right <clears throat> crock pot or instapot oh, for speed. So I put the goat's butter on top while it's still warm. God, it's nice and hot. So you guys can see here. And then I'm going to put some blueberry syrup. I'm starting to get excited. I'm trying to pace myself. All right. Now I'm just going to put some. Let's see if y'all can see. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Uh-oh. All right, Moose, I'm going to go ahead and pop you down. All right. So you guys can see here. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but you see our, our butter is starting to melt. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, Moose, are you back or are you still frozen? Okay, I think we lost him. No, he's there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have one down. I'm going to um, put some blueberry syrup in a gravy boat so that I can drizzle and I'll show you guys why. This um, blueberry syrup jar is a wider mouth. So you see that it comes out like one big splat. That's okay for the bottom and then maybe the middle layer, but for the top layer, we want it, we want it a little bit fancy. Have you tried, have you ever thought about getting a uh... I don't know what happened. Moose, this sounds really far away. I can hear you, but it just sounds like really far away. What do y'all, is it just me or can y'all hear Moose? I hope I didn't break something. I can hear you, it's just far away. Okay, and they're saying my counter camera. So counter camera is here. It's just slow, y'all. Struggle cooking. <laughs> okay, so we're wait waiting on our second pancake. But Moose, I can I think I can hear you if you want to try the question, and then I'll probably drop you down. Yeah, I'll just ask the question, and I'll back out. Uh, 
Okay. I was asking if you consider using one of those boring spigots for the syrup bottles. I like to think that you would put it to like a like an olive oil bottle or something like that. You know what I'm talking about where it's like the little metal tube. Yeah, no, I sure can't. And it says they're um, they're having trouble hearing you. So I'm gonna drop you down, Moose, if you can hear me. Thank you so much. If you would type it in the chat, I appreciate you coming up, and thank you for being a lifetime channel sponsor. Okay. So if Moose is still with us, he'll ask. He said something about a spigot, but I couldn't get. All right. So not sure if you all can see. So we've got our first pancake here. We're going to, uh, yeah, he sounded far away. Yeah. All right. So almost done, you guys. All right. Let's see how pancake number two is looking. All right. So you can see pancake number two. And what I do to keep pancakes warm and for presentation, get underneath there with the spatula. I like to show y'all up here. Put the second one right on top. Keeps each other warm. So we're gonna top that in a second. We're gonna get the um, griddle cleaned up. Woo, hot! Back with the butter. Y'all, I may make this whole thing. Another ladle filled to the rim. All right, so this is cooking. Y'all can see all that. We're gonna cut a little piece of butter onto the hot pancake. Maggie cake. And they're blue or purple because they're blueberry. Ah, he says, Moose says, I was asking if I considered using one of those pouring spigots for a bottle. Oh, for olive oil. I know what he's talking about. Something like this, but for syrup. I know what you're talking about. That's fancy. I probably should. All right, so our butter is melting. It's melting. It's melting. So we got to put the syrup over top of that. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I hadn't thought about that, but I should. All right. That's just a nice big glop of syrup. Oh, thank you, Moose. Send me a link. So he's saying that I could get a little spout to put here on top of the syrup and make it pour better. I did not know that. All right. So here's number two. Looking good. Y'all, I may make this whole thing. I'm feeling greedy tonight. I didn't really eat much today. Mmm. Miles says they're called cruets. Am I saying it right? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to do the low budget version which is pour some in a gravy boat. Y'all know I have this Aladdin gravy boat from Walmart. Moderators, please look up Walmart. Let me see if I can get a name. And um, if the moderators can drop my Amazon cheat sheet link to the Walden Farms blueberry syrup. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> I know Amethyst says she likes my gravy boat. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says Anchor. So the brand is Anchor. But this is my little Aladdin gravy boat. Handle stays cool and I can see through. So this is what I'm using for the syrup. Sounds like our other pancake is ready to come out. I don't know with the lighting, if y'all can see light goes on or light comes off, but I also hear a little click, like poop, when it's ready. All right, not bad. 
Now, I know this looks a little weird because the blueberry pancake is blue. And then you have the brown on top of it, but that's from the butter. But honestly, if I had done a regular goat's cheese, y'all would see it would be like a yellow pancake with the um, beautiful golden brown. All right, let's clean this up. Ah, oh, thank you, Moose. Um, Moose is dropping it in the chat. If someone could capture that and inbox me with it, or I'll, I'll find it on the replay. All right, so back to the griddle. We're gonna go for pancake number four. Got the butter, magic marker style. Sizzling up. Got the ladle, full ladle. All the way to the edge. Okay, it's starting to over pour. That's all right. Got our pancake stack here. Oh my God, it is a stack of yum. Thank you. Thank you, Moose. I saw your message come through. Thank you, sir. <laughs> a stack of yum. I know, right? All right, so we're going to get the same butter that I'm using magic marker style. Put on top. I don't really care too much when I'm making the stack about the ones at the bottom, but when I get to the last pancake, I really want it to look nice. Um, so we're gonna do one more big mouth blue berry syrup. Do y'all see do y'all say syrup, syrup, syrup? So we're gonna let that melt down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I've only got like one more ladle of um, batter left. So I think I'm gonna cook all of it, y'all. I'm gonna be greedy. This is it, then we'll chat and chow. I'm supposed to keep it under two hours. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Moose says syrup, Mona says syrup. I think I say syrup, right? Mm -hmm. All right. This one I poured pretty full, so I heard it click, but I'm gonna let it percolate just a little more. Wash my hands. Mm. I'm gonna have a delicious pancake um, stack for dinner. This is hilarious. Y'all can see everything. I love it. Y'all like this view? I can even give you this. Let's play around with it. I can even do this. Watch me kick myself out of the stream. Oh dear, see, here we go. Syrup, <laughs> oh man says syrup. Miss Global Girl says syrup. That's what I think I say, I say syrup, right? Bill says syrup. <laughs> Syrup. It looks commercial worthy. Thank you. Well, see, y'all see, I have to reach to touch my iPad and then you get my arm in the way. I'm going to get it together. But I think Moose and other, so y'all see me down in the bottom, picture in picture. Let's get this. Um, oh, no, it's not brown enough. So you see, I lift it up. See how it's still kind of soft on the inside? Nope. We want golden brown. We want golden brown. So y'all get to see everything. Y'all, I'm just so happy this is working. Like, wow, it's really working. Let me try and switch myself back. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's what y'all like. <gasps> I think I, did my phone die? Okay, sorry y'all. I think I was doing the most, see? It's looking good and then it died. Oh my gosh, let me see. <sighs> well, at least we know what works. Um, thank you, I think my, yeah, phone died, but not bad. All right, I'll just hold it up for you guys. <clears throat> Now, 
thank you for letting me test on y'all. You know, we've been going through some things. Um, ooh, this one looks good. We're going to do one more. We're going to do a five stack. Oh my God, I'm feeling greedy. That's a little big one. I'm feeling full already. I meant to say this. You can blend all of the batter. It will keep. I was just feeling greedy. You don't have to cook all of it. I'm going to pour the leftover over the sink. Oh, let me wipe this down first. Top and bottom. But now y'all get to see everything. Thank you so much. And then it died. But if I'm going to do that, I just have to keep it plugged in because it's hard for me to see because the phone is like this looking down at the counter. But I wanted to have it ready for you guys yesterday when I was cooking with AV. But I was getting that horrible like feedback loop. And um, what I realized, you know how when you add, you connect your phone or anything to any of these, uh, this software, butter on the bottom, butter on the top. And I'm going to pour this in the sink in my, in the ladle. All right. So I got the last one here. Just poured it over the sink. All right. It's already overflowing. Let me rinse this out. Let me try to load the dishwasher quietly. Ow. <laughs> Pinch my finger in the dishwasher handle. It's got a little crack in it. And when I go to pull and injure myself, Sorry about that. All right, so we're cooking our last pancake. I'm gonna go ahead, or Maggie cake. Oh, I didn't put syrup. There I go with the syrup. I didn't put syrup on number four. So I'm just gonna do it this way. We have the butter and the syrup. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know you want it. Thank you. Thank you, oh man. All right. So for the last one, I'm going to drizzle. So I'm going to microwave this. Clean it up. All right, so two things. So it doesn't take long. You can see our syrup is nice and hot, but I want it to give me that nice drizzle action. And I'm going to get the powdered sweetener because I'm going to dust it with sugar. Should I do whipped cream, which I still have here, or powdered sweetener? What do y'all want? Or both? Erin Laura, I know it's looking good. We're getting this last pancake done, Maggie cake done. We got our hot syrup, syrup. <laughs> um, why not both? Okay, so I just got to get my camera ready because you know on the hot slow motion camera now, <laughs> you know the only thing with the uh, whipped cream I have to take my pictures quickly because when I hold it up for y'all and the pancake's hot, then the whipped cream starts to slide like our strawberry shortcakes. Little dusting of powder. You got it. Okay. And welcome, LaShawn. So I've got my powdered swerve again. We use this on the strawberry shortcake. Yes. Little dusting.
a little dusting. I really need like a proper shaker thing. I'm sure there's a name for it. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Ah, you're welcome. Welcome to class. So happy you guys are here. No matter what brought you here, I'm just happy that you're here. All right, trying to keep my syrup warm so I can get the drizzle action. Okay, got the phone on standby. Waiting on this last blueberry pancake. I heard it. I'll sprinkle a little fresh blueberry around. I have some sad looking blueberries. So I'm gonna pick the ones that look like they aren't um, deceased, just for a little garnish, not, you know, anything ridiculous. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, it looks great. All right, let's see if we can make this work. So we have our stack much. We have our last pancake, y'all can see, and even like hopefully y'all can see the bottom gets that nice brown. Let me try and center it. Let me do some food styling because if it's tilted then you already know what's going to happen. All right, the big ones are on the top. Let's go with the butter, real butter. It's just made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. So a little slab of goat's butter while they're hot. And let's see if we can drizzle. Guilt-free sugar-free. Ha <laughs> thank you. Oh man. Okay. Let's see. I got my fresh blueberries. I wouldn't say almost fresh, just for a little bit of, a little bit of food styling. Okay. Y'all want a little dusting, a powdered sweetener. little bit more because they're hot everything just melts so we got a little dusting okay I'm gonna do the whipped cream then I got to take a picture fast ah well you know what it's coming down the mountain uh uh-huh okay let's see if we can just get a quick picture before it disintegrates. Oh my God, y'all, this looks so good. Blueberry pancakes, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. See how they're hot at the top? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna cut into it so y'all can see. Uh-huh. Big old stack, feeling greedy. I'll let you guys see. You would eat that. Ha! Help Maggie get a sugar. 
I thought you were, I, well, I almost ran a sugar something else. I need a sugar sifter. Oh my God. Y'all, Maggie Cakes, Blueberry Maggie Cakes. Now, they are calling your name. You know, you, you would eat that. Y'all would eat that. You would eat that. They are on fire. All right, try not to be greedy, but y'all can see only eggs and goat's cheese or cream cheese. No flour. <laughs> Who is here for the crispy edges? Oh my God. Turn down for what? Doom, do, doom, doom, doom. Doom, do, doom, doom, doom. Doom, do, doom, doom, doom. Let me get it. Let me get a cross section. Turn down for what? Oh, sorry. Wrong program. Y'all, oh, it is so good. Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, I even forgot about the bacon. Mmm, mmm. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, LaShawn. Got the cash app. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I'm gonna eat this. Y'all, when I tell you this is good, whoo! Some with the flash, some without. Y'all, I can't even lie. Because you know I would tell you if you think you can't have pancakes, sugar free syrup, goat's milk butter, eggs and cream cheese or goat's cheese and they cook up like a pancake mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Mm. all right i know we're over but i'm gonna eat so i'm gonna pull up a chair if y'all have questions i'm supposed to keep these under two hours but sorry So good, y'all. Oh my God. Y'all, Maggie Cakes. Recipe is pinned to the top of the chat. But if y'all have questions, I'm gonna answer them. Let me just clean up one second. Actually, I've been drinking this iced coffee. I'm not going anywhere. I just need to take a bio break because y'all know I'm old. I'm just muting and putting on music, but I'm still here. And I'm coming back in like three minutes.
All right, so let's see if I can bring my new contraption down so we can chat and chow. Oh crap, I got blueberries all over the counter. You know, when you use the griddle or the waffle maker, it kind of, excuse me, overflows. So I just try to make sure. And I love my kitchen, but you see my counters are this dark granite. So sometimes stains don't just pop up. It makes it hard to see. All right, y'all, field trip, buckle up. Okay. Let me get a napkin or a towel for my lap, lappy lap. Try and act like I'm actually taking my etiquette classes. All right, so what questions do you all have? Yes, let's talk about um, Maggie members. Again, y'all, thank you all just for being here and supporting. But if you want to be a Maggie member, we do have four levels. Thank you, Mona, for the reminder. There's a $5 level, $10 level, $25 and $50. You should see that on the membership tab next to the community tab. And I put that last piece of bacon on there. I know it looks sad, but it tastes so good. So when you're a member, I think you have a little S or emblem by your name. Um, I should know this stuff by heart, but I try to respond to the scholars, what you guys ask for. But I know um, you get advance notice of uh, my posts or when I'm gonna go live. Um, and there's some other stuff Hopefully it's listed there. Um, I think that's the $5 level. So you get to see some behind the scenes stuff, um, more pictures of me and my adventures. I think the $10 level gives you all of that plus. Sometimes I have live streams that are just for members. So, you know, let's say I'm thinking about trying out, you know, some new software or something. Um, you guys are kind of like my sounding board because I'm new and I'll run stuff by you. Um, so you get those members only live streams. I need to schedule one, just set this up last week. And then the $25 level gives you all of that, plus a 30 minute consult with me, meal planning or ideas, or basically a Zoom meeting, not online, not recorded, um, just a chat with Maggie. Um, if you don't wanna chat in the group, you're welcome to chat for free here. Um, and then the, $50 level gives you all of that plus a collab like Moose came up one-on-one. Um, -on -one. We could do the whole show, just me and you. Pick whatever you want me to cook and I'll make it. And um, you get an hour consult with me. So those are the membership levels. While I eat my blueberry pancakes, Maggie cakes. Mmm. So good. In all seriousness, y'all, Stacking your food on each other like this in like for pancakes or whatever, not only does it add height and it's good for the presentation, keeps the food warm because every new pancake that I put on top was hot. So it's still hot all the way down. Oh my God, y'all. I said I wasn't going to eat all this. I lied. It's so good. Y'all, you cannot tell me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so impressed. Look at that. You cannot t You would eat this. No flour, no grains, zero carb. I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. So. I don't see anything in the chat. Let me scroll back and see if I miss anything. Yes, whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay, thank you for being here. I appreciate y'all so much. You help the channel grow. We are now monetized, which means that YouTube plays ads, I think before, maybe during, and sometimes after my videos. Mm. So good. And so YouTube gives 
content creators a portion of the ad revenue, you know, based on how many people watch. So just being here and liking the video and being in the chat, you all are helping the channel to grow. And the more people like it, the more YouTube will push it out to new people. So this is a labor of love for me. I'm here every day because I eat every day, trying to get the rest of this weight off and you guys are holding me accountable. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Um, let's see, I think we have a question. Vel says, hey Maggie, in the spirit of the bacalao, what about picking an ethnic dish each week or month? Apply your substitutions, of course. I want to do African food so bad with mom. That's a great idea. I did the arroz con pollo with amethyst. That was the Latin chicken and rice. Um, yeah, I'm open to it. Give me a suggestion. What would you all like to see? Something ethnic. I feel like I think I make Latin dishes and I don't know. I don't want to insult anybody by saying Italian food, but y'all know what I mean. Mm. Now we had AV here yesterday who is actually, what did she say, African, you know, Cape Verdean, African and Portuguese. So I'm down for the experts. Y'all know I'll collab. Mm. Oh, oh man says Jamaica. I love Jamaica. I've been five times, but what could I make? I have rice and peas. Both things I don't eat. Okay, let me know. I'm open to it. Jerk chicken. <coughs> but y'all, if I'm being honest, I don't even really think I'm that good. And I would hate to say, I, I would make an attempt at it by all means. I would make an attempt at it, but I would hate to say, oh yeah, I'm making proper jerk chicken because I've been there and the way they cook it over the open fire and roast it for hours with the scotch bonnets and all of that. Like, I can't do that. I'm not that good. Hey, Luz. We're doing our chat and chow. I've eaten half of my pancakes and one strip of bacon left. The stack, if you look at it from this side, it still looks pretty good. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Jerk and curry chicken. I should make a good curry. I would love to make, if anybody has a recipe for a good like curry with coconut cream or something, oh, that would sound so good. I did make like a ramen bowl. Um, that was pretty tasty. Moose says with a glass of shine. Do I look like a moose? I can barely handle a, I can barely handle a glass of wine. If y'all saw Maggie with a glass of shine, you would call the law. I know my limitations. Mm. Jamaican jerk chicken is amazing. And even the way they serve it, the way they just hack it up and it's so, oh, good. Ooh, Jamaican rum cake. We could do like a mug cake. Y'all, I have some. Do I have some rum around here? I don't know if y'all can see on the very top of my, up there. <laughs> you see it way above the microwave. I have the, I got the good stuff. I think I might have. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all since it's just us. And I think I tilted that. Oh Lord, see this is what happens when I touch my stuff. I took a trip to Jamaica. A girlfriend of mine was getting married. It was a destination wedding. So I went alone. I had an amazing time. They had a dance contest. And who do you think won the dance contest at the resort? It was at Sandals, yeah, or Beaches, one of them, all inclusive. Oh yeah. And they had a dance contest. And the winner got a bottle of Appleton rum. And I have saved that bottle 
<laughs> like it was the last bottle Appleton was ever going to make. It's called Appleton, right? I think so. Butter chicken. That sounds amazing. But that has some cream in it. Butter chicken. Oh, that sounds so good. Y'all, I love this. Aaron, what is that? Is that my winning? But yeah, somebody send me a recipe or like the recipe you want me to make. Oh man, I'm always getting down. Moose has got a dancer in his family. Mm. So Moose's aunt met her husband at that dance contest. Y'all, I was... You know, I kind of was like, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere having a good old time. These people don't know me and I don't know them. So I was getting down. It might have been a limbo. I can't remember. Ooh, coconut cream. Oh, that sounds so good. Like a Thai coconut cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Aaron is raising the roof, y'all. I'm like, y'all don't laugh at me. This is a happy, wholesome family channel. You know what I thought that was? A bra. I'm like, what is that? Moo says, I had a staff sergeant in North Carolina who was Jamaican. His cookouts were the best. Look, Jamaican food. Ooh, butter, chicken over rice, cauliflower. Oh, that sounds amazing. Y'all, I'm working on these pancakes. I am going to eat them. This is my meal. This is it. It's so good. But in all seriousness, so greedy, eating a five stack. But when you make these pancakes, like if you were to eat three, because it's just protein, it's eggs and cheese, cream cheese, goat's cheese, sheep's cheese, whatever, vegan cheese. It's just protein. So unlike pancakes and the sugar-free syrup, unlike pancakes that you eat and you're like hungry right away because they just evaporate, these really keep you full for a while. Here I come, y'all. I am enjoying my Maggie Cakes blueberry. Mm. 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 Sorry, y'all. I enjoy. So creamy. Of course I was the winner. Y'all know. Mm -mm. Maggie's not going to... um. Maggie's not going to let my scholars down, y'all. I have a video of me and Alex. I'll have to post it. Or maybe I did post it. Y'all know Alex went to an all boy my youngest, went to an all-boys military school because he needs a structure. <laughs> and uh, they had a mother-son dance. And, of course, I went with him. And I just always had this thing, like, you know, because I've been corporate for so long. Y'all know I'm a former corporate executive. Now, very happy at home, happier, healthier, safer at home and um you know i always had to like be in that box and so whenever there's like a dance or something i'm like oh yeah and we were out there on the dance floor when i tell you we closed that party down alex was like mom we're the only ones still dancing i'm like Whoa. did you say something oh <laughs> i love it oh yeah absolutely that's my favorite part. I'm going to be traveling again, you guys, um, very soon and um, traveling internationally this time. And I love it. And, you know, y'all know I'm an immigrant. And so I love all cultures and all things international. Oh, yeah. I was jamming. Look, don't get me started. I'll be the only one. Oh, it'll be me and the DJ, just me and the speaker just doing it. Oh, yeah. Um, but even if you're not able to travel, Going to other restaurants or, you know, meeting people from other cultures, for me, that's a way of traveling without having to go anywhere. Ultimately, we're all the same. I believe that. I believe that. Still working on them, y'all. It's looking, looking, looking less and less picture perfect, but I'm eating it. So good. Y'all remember yesterday when AV got the itis? Hi, Victoria. Welcome. I was born in Ghana, which is a beautiful West African country. Uh, my parents came to the States for education. If you're new here, welcome. Both of my parents are retired now. They're in the area. So 
We see Nana from time to time when she wants to come out. My dad still has no idea what I do here. He's like, Maggie, oh, she's still talking. Um, he's never watched an episode, but uh, we came to America when I was one. So I am a citizen, um, you know, raised here. So I'm very American, but I had um, more of a traditional African upbringing. Mm, Victoria was born in Kenya. You're right, Moose, you got it. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching and saying hello. I know we have several people that like to watch anonymously and that's fine. You're still my scholars and y'all are all welcome here because however you choose to engage, you help the channel grow. I'm so grateful. Victoria says they came here when she was six. We came here when I was one. Oh, Moose, you've never left the state. So Moose, I'd like to hear about that because you were in the service, so you've never been deployed. So you've experienced different cultures by being open and friendly, yes. And that's what I love about this community, y'all. We are all diverse. Heck, I'm diverse. Have you seen my kids? But, you know, I love everybody. And um, I just feel like a good home-cooked meal is just universal in all cultures, it's the thing that brings people together. And if I were to have a legacy, that would be my legacy. Thank you, old man. Yes, um, I keep encouraging mom to come out, but y'all know once you get a certain age, my mom's like, I'm gonna wake up and see how I feel. So she doesn't really let me know in advance for planning and y'all know I'm kind of a, so, but she's earned it. She's earned it. Hi, Lorinda. Welcome, thank you for coming to class. <laughs> Moose said being in the military helps. Oh yes, absolutely. So Moose is, uh, knows people from Jamaica, India, Nigeria, the islands, Mexican, Puerto Rican, absolutely. Yes, and thank you for your service, Moose. We appreciate you so much. And y'all, I'm telling you, I don't, I don't take this lightly. Moose and Mr. Option One have been huge financial supporters I got this before my phone died. I actually have an over overhead camera view now, y'all. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can do this on my other phone. Because I know we got some other people joining. Hmm, what other questions do y'all have? I want to show people the... If I can get it right, it's a whole thing. Oh, no, see? You have to um, allow video, but not allow sound. Oh, in Ethiopia. Moose says he knows two super cool dudes from Ethiopia who make banging meals. Microwave and a hot plate, oh my gosh. So, allow camera. Do not allow microphone. Let me see if I can show you guys what we have here. Uh oh. I don't know if we can. I don't want to mess it up, y'all. But anyway, trust me, we had two camera views. What I was going to say is um, you guys have heard a little bit about my story and. Um, you know, being the daughter of immigrants and growing up in Athens, which is where the University of Georgia is, go dogs, national championships. Everybody in my family went to Georgia except for me. Oh, we've got some unboxing and some more giveaways. Okay, so we've given away, let me finish these pancakes. I think I had some packages to open you guys. Oh yeah, I was gonna go over the skinny syrups. Let me finish these pancakes. See, I get distracted. But um, growing up in a university town like Athens, excuse me, so Athens is basically rural Georgia, so it's the South, so I grew up around people that talk like this, but there's like this little bubble of academia. And the University of Georgia, like a lot of big schools, has housing, you know, student housing. But if you are married, they have married student housing. If you have a family, they have family housing. So it was like these campus apartments or whatever. And I, I grew up playing 
kickball with kids from Jamaica. My best friend was from Korea, um, Egypt, all of that. So that's why I love everybody. Mm. Even as they cool down. Y'all, these pancakes are so good. They just hit the spot. I've been eating, I've been traveling and I've been eating a lot of everything. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all, this is so good. So, so good. So if you haven't tried the Maggie cakes, this is my blueberry pancake. Mm. Mm. And I did burn the Christmas bacon. I don't know if I burnt it, but y'all, it is so good. It looks horrible. Aw. I knew this was coming. So thank you so much for the super chat, Victoria. First of all, welcome and thank you. She says, what is your favorite Ghanaian food to cook? Okay, so here's the thing about cooking African food. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Jackson. Mm. Okay, Victoria. My mom, who is our school principal, she takes no shortcuts. I grew up with the African Martha Stewart. Mom sifts her own grains, roasts her own nuts. She doesn't believe in doing anything unless you do it from scratch. And so I grew up very intimidated by that. And I know we have some new people here. And I've shared with some of my day ones that every time you all compliment that the food looks good or I'm doing a good job, you have no idea what it means to me because I appreciate, you know, my upbringing, but I was always like nervous to try and make the stuff my mom would make because she would be at the stove for hours, like stirring stuff and grinding stuff. And I'm just kind of like, oh, oh, so I really shied away from it. But um, I want to do some cooking collabs with my mom. I think a common, I have a lot of Ghanaian foods that I like to eat. Of course, everybody eats jollof rice. That's a very common West African food, seasoned rice. My mom puts corned beef in hers, vegetables. That's pretty standard, but I don't eat rice. Um, let's see. I was thinking maybe I could make it with the cauliflower rice. Most Ghanaian food, like most West African or um, maybe even Latin Asian foods, it's two components, right? You have the starch, which is like the rice, and then you have the stew, which has the broth and the meat and... Um, vegetables and everything kind of in it and because i'm on a weight loss journey um food like that although it's great it's very hard to separate out separate out ingredients that you can't have so my mom who may be watching gets you know frustrated when i say oh no thank you i either have to eat like i don't want to say all or nothing but if i'm going to go over there and eat i just know i'm not going to have anything you know on my plan so Long-winded version of that is my goal for this this year. Even if we can get mom in here once a month, I would love to um, cook. So hopefully that answered your question. Moose says the culture exposure is one of the biggest reasons you recommend the military experience to folks who are interested. You can't be racist after spending time learning. We are all the same for a few years. Amen to that. Y'all, we really are more alike than we are different. And I know you all see me. I don't see you unless you want me to. If anybody wants to come up, I'll drop the link again. Completely optional. But um, when I do see you guys, I am so incredibly overjoyed and humbled that um, we are the rainbow. We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. Sorry, you didn't ask for that. Let me finish this pancake. We got some boxes to go through. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. Thank you, Aaron. So Victoria says, my mom is Tanzanian, dad is Kenyan. Oh, I bet it's beautiful. The closest I've been is South Africa. Um, you love making chapati. Can you explain what that is? Is that like a starch? And you used to make the beef stew a lot. You know the feeling. Can't have that. It's buffet style when you visit. Yeah, you get everything. You just, yeah. There's no turning it down. you just all in. There's been several times when I'm like, Mom, I've already eaten. Please. Oh, Maggie went, Mom. Mom. But I know they mean well. It's all love. Mm. <sighs> Lorinda is South African. Y'all, we're global. So Lorinda, if I may ask, are you here in the U.S. from South Africa? Or are you actually in South Africa? Victoria went to South Africa. Y'all, I traveled to South Africa. Changed my life. When I, the people, the food, the history, the music. The, oh, Mandela Square, going on safari. Oh, I could get chills now. It's just everything is there. The water. Oh. Chapati is a bread like naan. Now that right there, you want to get Maggie in trouble. Put some hot butter breads in front of me. Bread basket, naan bread. I do so much with naan bread. Use it as a pizza crust. Butter, oil. That's my weakness. Take me to a bakery and just stand back. Oh, Moose, you would love it. Let me tell y'all what I did. Oh, he would absolutely love it. I'm getting chills. Oh, yeah, Victoria, forget it. Stand back. Oh, you wanted some of this bread? Oh, y'all thought we were sharing? Mm, got the wrong one. Lorinda lives in Cape Town. I'm going to cry. I'm going to try not to. Okay. So some of you all know this, some of my day ones. Oh, I know, me too, Bill. Um, I lost my train of thought. So y'all know I'm part of a travel group and we travel every year. I need to make some phone calls. We travel every year, but it's been postponed for the last couple of years. That's why um, I've been home. We were supposed to go to China, but at the last minute, you know, China's not giving visas. So they changed our destination and mid-July, I'm going to be going to Switzerland and Italy. So y'all, pasta is coming. Oh my gosh. But um, it's one of these things where, you know, you pay the money. It's like a little monthly payment plan. And then it's like two years out and you're like, yeah, sure. Okay, we'll go. And uh, I alternate with the boys. So I've taken Marcus to Paris, Normandy, London, and South Africa taken Alex to Costa Rica and he's going to be going with me to Italy and Switzerland because it's important to me as an immigrant that the children have an appreciation for you know other cultures yes Lorinda you are oh yeah they love heavy cream out there in Italy yeah I know I know and I'm over here on this dairy free Oh my gosh, where is AB? I miss her. She's so sweet. Um, but yeah, so, man. Um, growing up here in America, when I went back home to Ghana with my family, I know it's home for them, but I had never been there. So I wanted to see all the things, like all of the tourist things. And my parents were like, ah, oh, Maggie, no, that's for tourists. You, you come, you see you know, your aunties, your uncle, you know, I spent time going to see family, which is great, but they remembered me. I didn't really know them. We came to America when I was one, you know, I don't, I don't speak the language. I regret that. I need to learn it, but uh, I didn't know the people, but they're like, oh, Maggie, oh, you look like so-and-so. And I'm kind of like, thank you. 
So it was a little disappointing. And I told my parents this, it was a little disappointing to go all the way there and to spend time, you know, in the village. Very important. But, you know, I wish, you know, I had seen more. So uh, year of return came around 2019. If anybody doesn't know what that is, let me know. Um, and I heard, you know, a lot of African Americans were going, so I didn't tell anybody. I went alone. Excuse me. I found a tour group because I love group travel. That's a very, for me, excuse me, safe way to travel as a single person. You know, you, um, pay the money. It's all inclusive. You meet at the airport and this is the group you travel with from place to place in the hotel and the bus and you get to know people. You may not know them when you arrive, but you definitely know them when you leave. And I just paid for a single and um, I had an amazing time. So I kind of sat back in the cut and we went to visit like where the kente cloth was made. We saw a chief ceremony. I mean, just all this stuff. It just, <sighs> the first restaurant hotel we were in, I had some of the banana bread and the tears just started rolling. It, I taste, it tasted like I was at my mom's table. It was just, <sighs> oh man wants to know, am I going to make the leaning tower and make a replica cake like the strawberry shortcake was? Almost done, y'all. One more bite. See, this is how I get sidetracked. I don't know. Here's the thing, oh man. So with these group tours, here's the thing that I love. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jackson. I know they have an itinerary. I just want to turn off my brain and enjoy. That's one of the things I love about these group trips. And we've got, um, if anybody wants to go next year, we're going to Greece. I can put the link on my community tab. We've talked about it before, but I'm getting full like AV. So with this group travel, you pay the money, you can pay all at once or you can pay once a month and it includes everything, your flight, your meals, your hotel, everything. And this may sound really crazy, but you know, amicably divorced from um, the boy's dad, you know, my ex-husband and I co-parent really, really well. He's in the area, the boys are with him now, but during the week, a lot of the heavy lifting is on me and then I have to work and just everything, not complaining at all. But when I'm traveling or I'm going on vacation, I like to turn off my brain. Like I just want to pay the money, show up. What are we doing today? No, you are right. You travel together. When you land, wherever it is, there's a bus to pick you up. They take you to the hotel. They hand out the room keys. You go to your room, unpack, shower, go to bed, wake up in the morning. You have breakfast in the hotel. They tell you what time to be ready. The bus is there in front of the hotel. You board the bus. Where are we going today? I don't know. They have an itinerary. You go all around the countryside. It's like adult daycare. I love it. So to answer your question, oh man, am I going to see the leaning tower? Probably. But on what day? I don't know. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm way over. See, this is my... Finish, 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 Maggie, finish. Oh my God. All right, chat and tell. Mm, mm. Know what I want from Switzerland? Give me the good stuff. I want the Swiss chocolate and I want the real stuff. Oh yeah. I want all the delectable treats. When I'm on vacation, I'm on vacation. Mm. Y'all are sharing recipes. Y'all, these Maggie cakes are so good. Even as they cool down, like the texture is just incredible. All right, last bite. Last bacon. Mm. Mm. For anyone new here, I really do eat what I cook. Because this is my 
usually eat two meals a day and I eat them with y'all so I can be on track. Mm. Okay class, I got a couple packages and did I say we're gonna give away something? Is that question for me, oh man, about flying? Oh, I know. Gotta be tropical. Let me get a couple packages, y'all. All right, I'm going to bring y'all back on the counter. We're going to open these packages and be done. Let me fix my lip. All right, sorry y'all, just <laughs> wanna get camera ready. <laughs> Try and put myself back together. <laughs> My experience flying when I'm awake. You know what? It's one of those things, you can let it wear you out or you can just trust, you know. Um, if you fly, we've had good experiences, we've had bad experiences. I think flying is one of those things that it's like, no news is good news, right? I guess my tips, but this is me. Um, a blanket or having like, um, not a blanket, that's not elegant. Um, like a little wrap or something. Um, because it's very drafty. That bothers me. Um, I prefer an aisle seat. Because I take bio breaks. Um, Try to fly direct and uh, you get what you pay for with airlines. Yeah, absolutely. Some airlines are amazing. Some are. Okay. Walmart. What did I order? I don't know. Some stuff was here when I got back. But um, I do like to share with you guys the grocery delivery services that I use. They keep me out of the stores. Um, link should be in my class notes if one of the moderators is still on and want to put it up a discount like Amazon Prime for a year a hundred dollars so two dollars a week and you can get things delivered um, like unlimited for free I know I'm bad with impulse buying so that's me this is not for me my kid who is a in Nicaragua right now, said he was out of deodorant. It arrived after he left. Good luck, Chuck. All right. But so this is gonna go to Marcus, and then I got one box for you guys. So you guys always hear me talk about skinny syrups and I think I have a discount code for you if any moderators are left. I know, Lisa. I said I was gonna wrap it up at two hours, y'all. I'm sorry, I, I gotta get better. Um, moderators, I should have a link in the class notes for a discount from skinny syrups, like I needed any more, but I did order, I saw some new flavors. So I'll just show this to you guys and then we're gonna be done.
All right. Moderators, please help keep the class family friendly. So on that note, I'm going to show you guys this and then we're going to go. Skinny syrups are my sugar-free flavors that I use in coffees, teas, pancake batter, whatever. So they had a sale online. You can get the pumps or you can just pour. This one is cookie dough. So zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs. So you could put this in coffee, maybe make a milkshake. I ordered this online directly from Skinny Syrups. This one right here, simple syrup. This one has no flavor. So no, no lemon, no um, cookie, cookie, no coffee, nothing. If you just want like a simple syrup that's like um, a sweet flavor, you can put this in anything. And then this one looks good, honey cinnamon. This would probably be good in hot tea. Zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs, honey cinnamon, skinny syrups. But what I really wanted, So they have these small <clears throat> flavor bursts. So I got a three pack. I'll hold them up close so y'all can see. These are the types of things I keep in my purse. I keep in the car. So whenever I'm out and I get a tea, I order it unsweet. Then I can put a squirt of this in and get flavor without sugar. So this one is peach ring. Hopefully y'all can see that peach ring. So that would be good maybe in water, maybe over a shaved ice tea. Y'all know I use vanilla all the time. Put vanilla in um, my coffee, vanilla mocha. Put it in tea with a splash of lemon. Look who's here. Hi, Mom. Mom, they were just asking about... Um, Principal Nana is here. Um, thank you, Lisa. Mom, they were just asking about African food, so can we pin Nana down for a cooking collaboration? And then y'all, this also is now available in the mini size, the mermaid. This is like a pina colada flavor, zero calories, zero sugar, very concentrated, just one squirt. I'm really excited to try this. White chocolate mocha. This is a little to go one. You can just tear the top. It's a one time use. It doesn't open and close like these. This right here, white chocolate mocha. Put it in plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, um, coconut yogurt. Dip your strawberries in there. Tastes like a chocolate-covered strawberry. Mona loves mermaid. Oh, man, are you raising your hand? So, Lauren, there was a sale. I think there's a sale section for the skinny syrups, but what you can do, I do have a $7 discount code. I think when you spend $25, if one of the moderators can uh, drop the link for the skinny syrups and give it a try. Oh yes, that's my favorite. The boys love peanut butter soup. See, my mom makes that, but y'all, I'm nervous to make it. Mom, you gotta teach me how to make the peanut butter soup. Oh man is waving. Oh, Mona likes the white chocolate mocha. Okay, we're gonna do one last giveaway. I have had this before, it is excellent. I am going to, um, Send some happy mail. Let me think of a question. One other thing in the package and then, ah, I just bought the three pack. Oh, I bought the wrong flavor. Hmm. I really like the vanilla, so I got more vanilla. Lots of vanilla, I keep it everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna mail this. If you want uh, something today, please inbox me because y'all have forgotten already and I'll get it out. Tomorrow, I'll send you the tracking. I'm trying to come up with a question. Ooh. The first person to tell me for the cooking collab that I did yesterday with AV, what was the name of that dish?
All right, Miles, there you go. I see buckle out. Okay, so Miles, please inbox me. You get the white chocolate mocha skinny syrups and inbox me your address. Okay, Wilbert, and on that note, we're gonna wrap it up. I'm, I'm getting the hint, y'all. Sorry, I just enjoy you all so much, but I know I said I would keep it under two hours. Y'all, please don't ever feel pressure, even if you're a moderator, to stay here. When it's just me, I could go on and on because this really is a labor of love for me. But yeah, so I'm gonna put these skinny syrups away. Maybe I'll make. I was gonna say, do y'all want me to make the mermaid tea? But I can take a hint. All right, we'll save it for another day. All right, you guys. I don't know. I'm slow cooking, y'all. No, Belle, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know. All right, you guys. So tomorrow is Thursday. So we'll be back. Um, the boys are going to be gone for a while. Um, so mom, let me know if you want me to come pick you up for a collaboration. We can cook tomorrow. But um, I'll be back tomorrow with something. What am I cooking? I don't know. But thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching, for helping the channel get to where it was. And um, I'll see you with two cameras all charged up tomorrow. Oh, man, thank you for being here. <laughs> yes, thank you. I appreciate y'all are helping the channel grow. I'm going to have two boys in college at the same time, so you already know. All right, class. Class is dismissed. Good night. <laughs>